Welcome back, everyone. I am Ted's Friends. And I am The Mike Robles, and this is Squad Says Serve. A cooking competition where you, the squads, will control everything. You will get to vote on ingredients and resources for your chef, forced ingredients the other chef must use, and scoring categories and sabotages to inflict on the opposing chef. Great. With that, let's go ahead and meet today's chefs, Chef Sarah and Chef Graham. So, Sarah, welcome back. Chef Sarah. Chef Sarah. Sheriff Sarah. Sarah. Sheriff Sarah. Let's go ahead and tell the folks at home, uh, maybe the maybe the just tuned in, who you are, what you do, where they can find you. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so, my name is Sarah. I am a food writer and a home chef. You can find my website where I create my own recipes at inlieuofcordonbleu.com. Uh, yeah, it's that's not a, awesome. That's a, that's a great name. I love that name. It's a good name. <laughs> and you can also find me um, at Instagram, uh, also in the on blue.com or uh, at Kesara Sarah or Twitter. Mm -hmm. All right, and over here we have Chef Graham. Graham, welcome back to the Hello. show. You were here during our test runs of the show. Yes. Tell us a little bit about yourself. My name's Graham, work in advertising strategy. I'm an amateur chef. I cook for my family and friends, and that's about as much as my cooking experience goes. Mm -hmm. Uh, and you can find me on Twitter, although I don't have any tweets, but I'm at uh, gquinn88. Awesome. Well, uh, do you, are you feeling confident about this? Uh, I was. You were? OK, uh, what wait. changed your mind here? Wait uh, a minute. Until so I found out I was facing a master chef over here. Oh, well, <laughs> to make matters worse, uh, we got to choose, and we're going to talk about this later. Yeah, we got yeah. to choose knives. Uh, Sarah got to choose knives. So she selected this awesome looking knife for her. That does look good. And for her opponent today, this. <laughs> So we start with the pairing knife. You start with this knife, so I'm going to hand that right. over to no, you. Go ahead and read the uh, rules today. And, and with that, let's talk about the rules for squad says served. Our chefs will have to uh, will have these featured ingredients cooked, must be finished, and ready to be presented to our judges. We have skirt steak at 20 minutes, frozen hash browns at 40 minutes, and ground pork at 60 minutes. Ooh, I like all of those. Squads will be alternating 60 second voting rounds throughout the show. Check the border around your vote options. When it's your squad's color, it's your turn to vote. Vote by clicking right on the screen to select your preferred option. You'll have to join a squad first, however, so log into Twitch, click the button in the middle of the screen to get started. Most of the votes are gonna award a resource to your team's chef. Resources are gonna be things that include heat sources, cookware, bowls, utensils, and of course, ingredients. Your chef can choose to use any of these resources or not in their dishes. There are also some special voting rounds. Each dish, you will have the opportunity to vote on an ingredient to force on the other squad's chef. They must use that ingredient in their next dish that they serve. You will also be able to sabotage the opposing chef once per dish. Sabotages might include stealing resources, distracting the other squad's chef, or restricting their use of resources for a period of time. And finally, for each dish, each team will vote on an additional scoring category that will apply to both teams for the next dish to be served. In addition to the scoring categories voted by each squad, every dish will also be judged on taste. Each of the two judges will rate each dish uh, in through one of three scoring categories on a scale from one to 10. 30 points per dish per judge. 60 points per dish total, 180 points across all three dishes. Some of the scoring categories are a bit vague, so we're gonna leave that to the interpretation of the judges. Uh, we first. get to go first, because we won that first round, which got us the knives and going first on serves. Let's go ahead and start the voting round for 20 minutes uh, on the clock for this skirt steak. Chefs, are you ready? Ready. ready. All right, squad says cook. And you're over there. As a reminder, you have to be on a PC or Macintosh okay. to vote. The technology doesn't work yet on phones or tablets. If you forget the results of the previous votes or you're actually just popping in, check the voting history panel in your browser. It's located in uh, right below that video player. Awesome. Go ahead and see what uh, see what's up with your chef well, over there. I, I was gonna say, if you want to start cutting that pork with that, you can go that for knife, it. You can. I know it's gonna be. I know. I know you got such, a, such a good. Good knife there. That's gonna be amazing. So oh my. here, let's go ahead and see Graham. Uh, Graham, look at this skirt steak that you got over here. Yep. What exactly are you uh, planning on doing? Uh, I'm gonna give it a nice sear in this pan. So I would love some oil. Some oil, oil is what you're looking acid. for. Okay, sounds good. Um, so let's see here. So any sort of oil. Uh, well, unfortunately, okay. So oil, and then what? Oil's what are you gonna do with this <laughs> knife here? Because we got this teeny tiny little knife that, unfortunately, oh, I guess, I guess. is not gonna be great for cutting. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I, I am gonna try and take a stab at this and put it into three equal portions. Okay, nice. Um, any sort of other plans you might have? I mean, we do. 
get this, let me recap for folks who are just tuning in that we got uh, this nice spatula yeah. and we got the rear burner there. We got yes. any spice, you picked garlic powder and we got this little pan to cook things in. So an oil and then just gonna basically fry it up, try yeah. to get a nice piece of meat oil, going. Oil, saute it, see what else comes my way. Awesome. Great, over here, Chef Sarah, the squads have already voted. Uh, in addition to, you did you did well for knowing uh, these animal questions. <laughs> uh, we got the saucepan and, and the spatula as well. <laughs> but the squads have also given you the front burner and the saucepan. Oh. Let's see, mm. I saw you, you cut you cut the, the skirt steak, you started yep. stabbing it a whole yep. bunch. Uh, what do you got going on now with the ground pork? Uh, yeah, so I think I'm going to do some sort of a, maybe like a rosemary burger or something like that when I get to the round, ground pork. So I'm just sort of shaping those up because I didn't have a heat source. So, great. you know, the, uh, had to be innovative quickly. Uh, mm -hmm. Pukey pie says fajitas, yo. It'd be great. I mean, so I know. That's, well, thing. So that's totally where I'm so going So hopefully here. you guys will be able to vote on those items to be able to get us stuff to make fajitas. So you do right, want to remind you. I need you, like, some Mexican ingredients Which here. there are plenty of. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. like remember, don't get your heart set on burgers because we never know what ingredients you're going to get, yeah. and the sabotage may completely <laughs> screw you up later. Uh, I see that you're already making three portions, which is great. The uh, chefs are going to have to make three portions, one for each judge and one for the Instagram. Uh, speaking to judges, let's yeah. go ahead and let's meet our judges today, uh, our self-described sassy pants judges that are going to be over here. Starting to my immediate left, go ahead and introduce yourself to the folks at home and, uh, and just tell them who you are and what you guys are doing. Hello, everybody. I'm Bonsai Baby. I do uh, woodworking, cooking, gaming, and a bunch of mixed media artwork um, yeah I just I stream on Twitch mainly and then I sometimes do videos on YouTube and you can follow me on Instagram and or Twitter and my name's Solon I am on YouTube at youtube.com slash Solon face that's the place where you find my face uh, I am also on video game choo choo video game choo choo.com if you go to the game zone dot zone you'll find where we live that's our home uh, and that's me. I make videos and, and awesome stuff all the time, wherever I'm at. Oh, awesome. Well, thank you to our two judges. We'll be uh, referring back to you here pretty soon uh, to talk about some of the ingredients and whatnot. Uh, Graham, I did want to let you know you got that saucepan. Yes. And Green Squad has given us the front burner as well. So we have two burners. both burners available to us. I want to warn you, check out those burners. The size of the back one's pretty small. The right. one on the front is big. Okay. So that front one gets hot real fast. So okay. just fair warning as I have burned butter on that. So, so you got back burner, front burner, and panini press? And panini press. We are you guys loaded over here. Loaded. We are right. killing it. Well, we got some cheddar cheese. Right now. All right. We got well, some cheddar, cheddar cheese. cheese. <laughs> uh, so what's, what's going on here? What are your thoughts right now? You got cheddar cheese. You seem pretty excited. When you yeah, got the cheddar yeah, cheese, do you have? I, I mean, I feel like that needs to yeah. go either on a burger or a taco. So like, that's nothing but winning. Although it would be nice if I could grate it. Like That yeah. would be a helpful thing. Uh, you right? know what? I don't know. Was Perfect. the cheese grater on your pool list? Because it wasn't on mine. It was on your list. It was it on my list? I don't know. I don't. That's what I'm saying. Because because it's on the pool list, and she just gets the cheese grater. <laughs> she can just cook it. Yeah. So it's uh, not exactly the softest bread in the world. Nothing. So you may have to use that actually in the panini press. Toast it up. Yep. Oh, sweet. Uh, this panini press is on already. Yeah. Oh, I am pumped. We got oh, bread. bread. We got bread rolls. Because if we didn't know if it was on the pool on the pool <laughs> sheet or not. So <laughs> you said, you don't get anything on. You don't get that cheese grater. You got to cut that. That's fine. Oh, that's yeah, right. She hadn't started using it yet. I my tried. God, did you I see tried. that? Deviant yeah, purple squad wait, over here just decided that that's what they get. Mm -hmm. My God, mm -hmm. I don't know what's happening over it, here. Mm -hmm. Apparently, it might show up in a vote later on. Who oh, knows? So we don't need it by this point. Uh, speaking of great things that you're gonna need, you yeah. just got some chipotle peppers and an adobo oh, sauce. Oh, that's exactly Ooh. what I needed right there. That's, that's gonna thank my audience. Right, I'm that's a, good stuff. I'm gonna <laughs> find those for you here. Right. In this yeah. If you wanna area. send me like some uh, some garlic, some cumin, maybe a little salt and pepper. Salt and pepper would be very helpful. We do need some 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 spices there. Yeah, some salt and some pepper olive, coming out. Olive oil or any kind of oil. Hopefully we get those. All right, folks at home. If you are just tuning in for the first time or you haven't watched the show yet, please do consider joining a squad. There should be a button on there that says join a squad. Uh, please do follow the channel. Or if you have a Twitch Prime sub available to you, to you or you have the extra money available, please consider subbing to the channel as it does help keep this, uh, this running. Sorry, production just started talking and I was talking, but I could not I hear him. What did he say? They asked if there was if, if I pulled any salt today, and it's like I don't I don't remember. I, I, don't, I don't remember, remember either. There that. was a lot of ingredients that lot. we were pulling today. So, 
I have no I, idea. You know what? I thank didn't. you. <laughs> also, Logan Demelt. That's for the one month sub. We do want to say thank oh, you thank very you so much, much there. We appreciate that. We it appreciate does help you, my keep friend. The show running, so thank you very much. All right, so we got raisins for ourselves here. Oh. That's not oh. scary at all, right? Mm -hmm. I, I don't remember raisins. pulling <laughs> oils or salts for uh, for my chef today. So that'll be fun. Oh, now that I think about it, there's four types of salt over there on that shelf. Yeah. Did you pull any oil or salt today? Uh, I don't actually know. I like we'll find out. <laughs> Did you pull oil? I don't know. I didn't pull any oil today. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. We'll find out what oh, ends up chef. happening here. Oh, what has got going on what? over here? Hang on. Let's let's, let's move the stuff out of the way. Yeah. You pulled out. I saw you were pulling out some of the adobo sauce. And you just, yep. You're coating. That yep. smells delicious yep. right so now. Yep. So I, uh, I took some of the adobo sauce and then uh, also just chopped up some of the chipotle chili. And I'm wow. just rubbing that in here to get a little bit of flavor going. And hopefully we'll get some salt and pepper maybe a little garlic or something to get some more flavor into this guy before we um, cook it. You're great. Well, we got about 13 minutes left before these need to be right. plated and ready to go to our judges. Uh, Ooh, lucky yeah. you on this one. I got a yellow onion. Oh, these guys are being oh, nice. I'll take that. That's that's goodness right there. Sweet. Make sure you cut mm -hmm. that right next to Ted. I think oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. Keep that over there. Keep it on your side <laughs> over there, folks. Uh, so, Graham, you're actually working on your ground pork right now. What are you doing with the ground pork? Uh, that's the last thing you got to cook. That's 60 minutes. So. Right. Uh, you're just seasoning it up, getting it Season ready up, to go ready. while you're waiting for stuff for this? Yes, I absolutely need stuff to finish my uh, my product here. How long will this take to cook? This take you know, a quick quick seven minutes. Seven minutes. Okay, yeah. so we do have about 12 minutes, 30 seconds yeah, left there. So I'm, I'm hoping for yeah. some sort of oil or salt and pepper or maybe a vegetable. Yeah. Onion would be great. Maybe oh, a pepper. Are we going to end up cooking that in the, we uh, we got the a hot panini press maybe? Right here, awesome. hot and ready. So I'm ready to just brush it up and lay it down. Ooh, I'm excited. So let's see what they're going to end up giving us here. we got about 10 seconds before that next vote comes in. So so Tastic. keep on prepping uh, yep. your ingredients that you got going on here while uh, while you can. Perfect. We'll see what ends up happening and what the squads give us there. I'm gonna check in with Chef Chef Sarah over here. Yeah. Uh, you you were just going to town on that onion right now. Yeah, it's a little violence with the onion. <laughs> <laughs> Sir. What's your plan? You you seem really excited about this. So everything you've gotten so far is leaning towards a very specific Mexican direction. Yeah, well, um, like you know, it's great. You tell people what you're doing and they help you they, out. They help you well, out. Except that like then they can sabotage you too because they know what you need. There so is a sabotage this round like, for sure. So. <laughs> So we will see what happens. All right. So what's your plan with the onion here? Because you do have that front burner. I want to remind you. Yeah, you got absolutely. This also, there's also this big pan and the saucepan. Uh, mm -hmm. Are you going to start putting anything on heat anytime soon? Uh, yeah. So I think that uh, I'm going to get some of these onions going pretty quick here. Maybe uh, make something that's sort of a soft caramelized onion to go okay. uh, with my tacos, and then I think I'll probably save a little bit of that for my uh, pork a little bit later as Ooh, well. Uh, hopefully we get some. Yeah, and you can we'll make see. a taco with. Right. Or it's just going to yeah, put a slab, gonna of, <laughs> slab of beef on there. Well, what? Where are you going to cook the skirt steak in? Uh, yeah, so I think that I will do that in the big pan. Um, and uh, I want to get sort of a good sear on that. But okay. fortunately, um, I think I'm going to do a, a rare or a medium rare cook on that. So uh, we're pretty good on time there. But I got to get these onions uh, into the pan. But I sure need some oil. So I'm kind of uh, <laughs> oh, uh, like holding out here. Production has been joking oil. that they haven't, uh, that we haven't pulled any oil today. So we don't no, see no. oil. Mm -hmm. I don't know oh, what's happening. No, they just said. In our ears, we just had the production team say, it's shit show Saturday. So, <laughs> <laughs> have fun oh, judges so, over there. So welcome. You did get some canned black olives, though. Okay, so that's, that, good. Uh, that's good. That's good. I'll take that. <laughs> maybe, maybe we'll get some nachos or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe, we're gonna, maybe we'll get some nacho seasoning. Yeah, All right. yeah oh, we're going to need something like a tortilla or a tortilla chip, something like that. Graham, what is this you got here. going on in there? Uh, I decided I didn't have enough room on my panini press, so I've added the steak okay. to the saute pan as well. Nice. That's a Pretty high that burner. It is. You got that up all the way. Is that on purpose? Trying to sear the outside on it. It's on purpose. Nice sear on it. Give it a good crust. Should really help the flavor. Ooh, awesome. And so we've got about five seconds left before our first sabotage is going to be voted on uh -oh. in just a second. So we'll find out. All right. So that means sabotage. Your squad must plate in mugs. Great. So enjoy that. So enjoy great. those. Uh, no, go ahead I and think, plate I those think babies this, up. This will be great. So here's what's going to happen is I've go ahead. I've gone ahead and pulled out these sweet looking purple mugs here that uh, Chef Sarah is going to have to plate in once it comes down to it. And that's fine. There's nothing that's I like more than great. sitting at yeah, home. Right. You know, it's, it's a mug taco. It's <laughs> <laughs> Must sit on the couch watching some Hulu eating my taco out of a mug.
I think it's fine. Uh, that means, yeah, yeah, you know, it's all right. Purple Squad, this means it is, uh, we did. We acknowledge Logan's sub. Uh, also, I want to thank you guys for voting. Make sure you guys vote on a really good uh, sabotage coming up for Green Squad. Give uh, us something terrible. Danny like, Tuseps oh, Catify. No. Oh, Catify no. means, you'll see it. It's a good one. I don't know what else is on there, but Catify is a good one, uh, especially for someone as tall as Graham. Uh-oh. Oh, <laughs> it could boy. be really funny, actually. Looking... I kind of hope, I kind of hope this is what we get. I don't know what the other well, one is. I'm going to go ahead and grab that cat head real quick, because, yeah, there yep. we go. I'm going right. to go get that, that track. Five, five minutes? Uh, does it say on there how long? We don't know. I mean, it shits just out of Maybe it's the rest of the game. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, hey, Graham, why don't you come over real fast and uh, let's get catified. You're kidding. Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. All right. There we go. All right, Graham. So Graham's <laughs> got to have that on for the next five minutes. Uh, I'm really worried because he can't see. Wow, those cooked real fast in there. Oh, oh, yeah. Those, those cooked a little be... too a little too quick, I would say. Are you going to use the sandwich, uh, throw those in the sandwiches? Uh, I am, yes. Ooh, awesome. Okay, so I'm actually pretty excited about that. You might get some little little sandwiches over there, Judgies. Some Sammies to start out with. Some steak Sammies. I'm going to say. And then you can wash it down with a nice uh, steak, uh, <laughs> a nice, <laughs> nice taco mug. Yep. A nice taco. <laughs> we're just doing low carb tacos, so there's no shell. That's yeah, what it is. Yeah. Low it's carb yeah. tacos. It's, it's just a meat. branding issue. That's what we have. <laughs> That's what it is. It's just meat. All right, so you're slicing up uh, this steak into smaller strips here. What yep. you got? Yep. And you got the Hot onions here. over there, which are already starting to uh, make a nice aroma here in the kitchen. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> sure. uh, that's exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, All right, uh, we got some dried mushrooms here. Let's see what uh, Graham will enjoy having a little dried mushrooms. All right, so Sarah, what's going on over here? You're putting the meat into there with the onions, it looks yep, like? Yep, yep, I'm turning the heat way up here because I want to get a good sear onto that. And, right, right. Uh, you know, we're just going to mm -hmm. get that going just a little bit uh, medium rare, and uh, hopefully we get something to make our taco not low carb, but, yeah. you know. <laughs> well, we'll, we'll we do have another item coming up very soon. <laughs> uh, so we're going to get some more items coming up, and then eventually we'll get the scoring categories. I'm going to go ahead and turn over to the judges in just a second here. Uh, judges, I would like to know so far your thoughts about what you're seeing the different preparations. You've got what's going to look like really overdone skirt steak over here. Uh, uh, Arsis went in. Judges, talk to us about your thoughts on the different that's preparations. Perfect. That's great. <laughs> I'm I'm just honored to be cooked for by DJ Graham. Um, <laughs> I, he's on there spinning the turntables like a boss. Uh, what um, you, have you seen so I, far? I, 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 I am. I'm just excited because I like oh. meat. Uh, also, I am very scared that there has been no salt on any of these things. Um, you know, salt is life. Salt, salt is flavor. Mm -hmm. Uh, and and so so that's just you know that's a concern. Just well, I got I got you know what we got some salty tortilla chips right here that oh. the first one is just voted on. Oh, yeah. I cannot be happier. <laughs> you about to get some nacho mugs right here, y'all. Oh. So um, there you go. Um, yeah. 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 Well, I, I ask, and the team delivers right there. That's you can see good. all the all the grease at the bottom of this thing. <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's, that's amazing. That's what makes it delicious, right yep. there. All the grease. Mm -hmm. right. Graham, you've only got about two it. minutes, thirty seconds left before you get to take that uh, hat off or your, your 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 cat mask <laughs> off. No, this is who he um, is now. This is no, who he is. This is. <laughs> might I suggest these mushrooms are actually pretty good. They might be pretty good if you put these guys in that panini press and use those as a. Uh, Part of this sandwich. Feeling that? Yeah, they actually are. Uh, <laughs> mm, they're actually really good. I'm enjoying them quite a bit. Why don't you, you announce, Why don't you go ahead and announce the scoring category? Right. Huh? Oh, well, Green Squad has voted on this scoring category, chefs and judges, for uh, this round, and that is moist. <laughs> moist. moist. Yep, that is correct, Solon. It is moist. I'm glad you got that dry ass bread then. <laughs> no, yeah, we got no, we got bread for that. <laughs> so, well, here's the thing though. It doesn't have to be the entire thing moist. The meat can be nice and moist as well. It's up to the interpretation of the judges. So that's, that's right. not up to us. All right, so uh, you guys, Purple Squad, you're voting on a score right now. Uh, you know, vote for something like, you know, scoring like, is it nachos? Is it nacho right, cheese? Like, is it nacho? Mm -hmm. Is there cheese nacho in there? Cheese. Is it Mexican? You know, because then Puky Pie says, this is my fetish. Okay. Uh, the, that? Oh, yeah. here we go. Here's another scoring category. All right, great. This will be fun. Uh, all right, chefs and judges, the next scoring category is presentation. Ooh. Presentation. <laughs> George B.C., put the bread in water. Oh, hydrate gross. the mushrooms. Puky Pie, don't help water. the other team. Uh, that'll make, that'll make the, yeah, that'll make it nice and moist. Water. You want water? 
Yeah. You have your, water. Your bottle of water is next to you. Can I use it? Yeah, you can use as much water as you want from the sink there, Graham. Yeah, you have a sink with unlimited, uh oh. Let me go ahead and turn this fan on. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's just steam. That won't it's, set it's off still, the. It's still. Ooh. Uh, let's check in with the judges. Uh, judges, we would like to hear your thoughts on uh, these scoring categories presentation and moist. What are you guys expecting? I'm really excited to see what a moist presentation yes, looks like. Yes, very moist presentation. <laughs> I want to see what's the what's the cross between both of these scoring categories. Would it be like a, a water show where they, they come out, here's your dish, and then they squirt water everywhere? That would be a very moist yeah. presentation. I mean, I, we can I, we can come spray you with water. I want to like see a cat, like, no. some, some soppage. Some soppage. I want to see uh, Maybe some... dipping sauce if you're having a oh. sandwich. Yeah. Well. Now, keep in mind, taste is also a category. And so, then if, uh, since you have a mug, you can do a taco soup. That could be a something. Ooh, a taco Ooh. soup. You're, 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 that, judges it doesn't get more moist than oh, soup. Right. Yeah, it doesn't get more moist That's literally <laughs> liquid food. <laughs> yeah, you know what? You're right. It is. It's very liquid food. All right. So thank you, judges, uh, for your opinions on those. We'll be coming back to you pretty soon here. Uh, let's check in with Chef Sarah. Chef Sarah, you just heard what the judges are expecting. There's a moist presentation. <laughs> There's, they wanted maybe some dipping sauces. Uh, they said with the mugs, maybe some sort of soup. That might be oh, difficult, yeah, but. I don't, well, I mean, hey, we can like, we can try here. Maybe, maybe like we've got some adobo sauce, right? We've Add got a little bit of water, cheese. yeah. Right. Yeah. Mean, we, can, we can figure this out. like. We can make that happen, I think. You have about right. three minutes. Friend, you can take off you, the hat. You have about Ooh. three minutes left before uh, oh. before this needs to be done. So if we're going to oh, start that, serious. start that <laughs> immediately. Yeah. Uh, and Graham, what is it that you've done there with those mushrooms? Um, I've tried to saute these dried mushrooms and uh, a little bit of butter. Yeah. I was trying to uh, sure up on that moist category. Yeah. No. 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 They look rehydrated. Those look actually pretty dumb. Pretty good. I'm, uh, I, I, I liked how they tasted too. The dried ones are actually pretty good quality, so I'm excited to throw those in that panini and we'll see what we get for these last couple of. Uh, <laughs> Amanda says unlimited water is moist. That's true. <laughs> so we'll see what these last couple of items before we have to deliver. We got to deliver in two minutes, 33 seconds here. So we still got mm, one or two things that we'll get hopefully at the last second to be able to deliver to our judges. And they've got the cat head. That's going to be in front of the camera in a second here. We'll have to move that out of there, oh. judges. <laughs> Just so I can see the food and stuff. You can wear it. <laughs> but uh, so, squads, give us something to top this baby off with. What could you use that'll make it even better? A little salt? A little salt would be <laughs> right? fantastic. Yeah, a little salt. Apparently, apparently, we're not going to get salt at all today. That no, was, apparently, we're not going to get salt. Realize, yeah, I didn't even realize that salt, that I hadn't pulled any salt or oil. What is going on? Uh oh, the judges. Judges have gotten the cat head. All right, we have just under two minutes left. Right, Chef Sarah, right. what do you got going on here? All right, so in my uh, nacho uh, mug taco, my, uh, I have got uh, my meat going. I've got yep. some chips here. Um, I think that we've got a little bit of a chipotle sauce, uh, okay. some, some chipotle cheese sauce going on the back burner there. We'll see if that gets done in time to make our presentation nice and moist. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Uh, you did get some uh, some spicy ketchup, which could be used, I guess, yeah. later on. We still have these olives that we can use uh, at oh, some yeah. point, maybe mm -hmm. even for the burgers or the hash browns later on. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, with nachos, you can also, you know, maybe throw some, there's nacho soup, there's some olives in there. Olives are, of course, uh, yeah. in, mm. In a nachos at times. All right, I, I've heard that. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, Graham, you got over here, we got the pimentos. We got a plate in one minute. How much uh, are we gonna be able to use those pimentos maybe in this? Do you uh, think it'll fit or no? Well, let's, let's try them. Give them a sniff or a taste there and we'll see how it goes. Make sure you wash that spoon after you taste it. Of course. <laughs> That's actually quite nice. I, they're really good. I smelled them and they actually taste pretty good. That might be a great little extra topping You're right. uh, for those sandwiches there. Um, now, unfortunately, there with 45 seconds left, we got to get those plates here. Uh, you want me to grab those for you yeah, real quick there? Yeah. Grab those plates. I'm going to grab those plates. We're going to pop Ooh. those guys over here. Actually, a nice salty element. Yeah, that's something that might work out there. So we'll do that. Graham is. Furiously plating with 30 seconds left. I think we're fine. We're gonna we're gonna be able to hit that right on the mark there. That last one, we only needed three of them. I, in case I messed up. In case you messed <clears> up. <throat> I love that. He's prepared. Wants to give you folks something real good. All right. That looks oh, real right. good to me. We okay, got 14 we got about, seconds. Yep, we got about 13 seconds left. Sarah, what do we got going on? Okay. There you we've go. got our little okay. bit of a moist. Um, chipotle cheese sauce here going on the top of our um, yeah, yeah. mug. I guess now it's a mug nacho, not a mug taco. A mug so. nacho. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So there, there right. we go. Yeah. There is some heat to that. All right. Oh, wait a minute. Time. Put your dish down because. <laughs> there we go. All right. There we go. 
I just want to point out as well, judges, they were slightly late on getting everything plated over there. And so you are welcome to take as many points off as you would like there. But, but, but here we go. Here. But, but you're late. But you are late. So we worked in schools here, before. We know how Target works. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so here is our open-faced uh, steak sandwich here. As you can see, we've got a little bit of the pimento in there that actually added a little bit of the salt. The dried mushrooms we got, we reheated those and sauteed, or we rehydrated those, sauteed them in a little bit of butter there as well. And uh, as you can see, those are actually a nice, moist little delicatessen there. Uh, we hope you enjoy this open-faced sandwich. All right, great. And from the Purple Squad, we have your uh, your your nacho uh, mug nachos, nacho mugs. From here. Uh, those are nacho mugs uh, with some of the uh, there's some adobo sauce in there, uh, a little cheese sauce, the tortilla chips down at the bottom uh, with some of the, the olives that were made in there. Uh, the meat should be still nice and moist, as well as the moisture from the adobo sauce that is in there. Pleased to be enjoying. Ooh. All right. So our can here uh, broke, the, the little thing there broke, so we don't have any way to open our uh, our potato, or our pineapples, potatoes, same thing. Can so uh, let's see here, the can openers, I think, Mike, do you, you have can, the big can opener yeah, there? Because this one work. is, that one is a little too short, doesn't fit, and it is too short. Oh, there we go. We got it. We got it. We got it. Don't worry, Graham. I fixed this for you. Now, you also got use of the microwave, if you would like, oh. in addition to hibiscus. And hibiscus. We do have hibiscus. And we did also get some ground black pepper. So let me get that for you, as well as a square baking dish. Whoa. Sorry. I'm uh, throwing things Sarah. everywhere. We can't oh, open this. It is not. Where's your knife? Go for your spoon. Let's figure it out. Uh, Chef Sarah, during that last voting round, you got some jarred jalapenos uh, and a sweet potato. All right. All right. <laughs> what are your thoughts going into this next, this final round here with hash browns, frozen hash browns? Yeah. So with a hash brown, what I really, really love is a latke or a potato. Ooh, pancake, okay, yeah. Right. So, so what I really need is like so maybe some, some chai, but some oil. Some I need oil, oil desperately. Um, and maybe like some sour cream or you know something something like that or a yeah. little like applesauce actually oh, it's really really good as All right. a garnish on that so I'd, I'd like a little like some sort of an apple flavor as some well sort of apple especially flavoring. applesauce okay would be great yeah great all right so squad you guys heard her see if any of those options come up make sure you vote right now you guys are voting on a forced ingredient hang on there we are gonna force you guys to okay. use those duros those things we talked about all day those really weird. Whatever those are, they are kind of unique and kind of crazy. I don't know how we're even going to... Wait a minute. Uh, ooh. Butter? Do we show, have any butter left? You guys do uh, have butter. Have butter left. Show, we might show need a fry camera. Show the camera okay. what these things let's are. Let's see what these are, because this is... I don't know how we're going to use this. Um, let's go ahead over to this camera and actually show these guys off. I'm going to go up real close here. You can actually see them. I don't know what so these you actually fry in uh, some oil for a little bit and they turn into a little puffy snack they're like a corn snack um, they're a traditional Mexican corn snack you put a little chili and some lime on it you eat it that way I don't know how we're gonna cook this let's maybe I'm thinking we're gonna have to cook it in some butter and that's pretty much gonna be the only way we can do it uh, what you got going on in the stove though there I just put some hash browns actually in some butter so yeah season it with some pepper and yeah I'm gonna add some garlic powder to it. awesome Ooh, so he's cooking those up. He's cooking some traditional hash browns then, pretty much, and garlic powder. Yeah, go with oh, what gosh. you know. So we are going to force on you folks, in this dish, you has to have to use Norwegian brown cheese. Cheese and hash browns? That is the worst oh, combination. Damn. Oh, damn. No. <laughs> Chef Sarah, Green Squad has dealt us quite the hand here with having to use this Norwegian brown cheese for these hash browns. It must be present in this next dish. I am so sorry that you yeah. have to add cheese to hash browns. That's terrible. It is like awful. cheese and potatoes. I that is the that. worst right. idea. Yeah, I'm too. sorry. So we're going to put that there for you guys. Uh, <laughs> all right, everybody. So, so the judges, let's make sure the judges got that. Judges, in case you guys missed it, the Green Squad present in the next dish must be Duros. Present in the purple squad's next dish, Norwegian brown cheese. Yep. Purple. Right. All right. Uh, judges are still eating. That's a good. Uh, you know what I do want to say here, folks. If it is your first time watching this show, or you haven't already, please do consider joining one of the squads. You should see a button there that says "Join a Squad," and you can join Purple Squad or you can join Green Squad. 
either or. Now, Green Squad's on a two, uh, two uh, victory winning streak here. Hopefully we'll make it a third, but uh, you can also please do follow, or if you have a Twitch Prime sub available, please consider uh, subbing to us as it'll keep that show going. Oh, let's take a look at this Norwegian brown cheese. I've not actually seen this before. Have you ever seen Norwegian brown cheese before? You know, I've seen it, but I've never tasted it. It looks so very... It's, it's like very brown, like caramely kind it of. It does. Yeah. I well, wonder if it's sweet. We're going to find out. We're going to find out. Go ahead and take a taste. And, yeah, uh, I think we're going to do that. I did want some of this. Oh, the pork chicken. Right. Would you like some Norwegian <laughs> yeah. brown cheese? Yeah. Oh, that is, that is very mm. sweet, actually. Yeah, okay. It is, is kind of caramely. It is very caramely. Like, yeah. It's kind of kind of sweet. So it's a wheat snack. It has to be present in the next dish. What are your thoughts going into this? No, I think we're going to do maybe like just a little um, garnish on the top. Okay. Um, see if we can even use it as like a, a browning thing. Um, mm -hmm. Right now we still have no butter, no oil, no yep. anything. Yep. So, um, oh, that's actually really good. Like the second bite was like, oh, it's even better. Yeah. Um, that's, that's some good cheese. Right, we have nothing to sort of bind this with either. We could like use some egg or something like that. I guess I mean, maybe, maybe we'll use some cheese. Bind it with cheese. How, right. all right. uh, judges hope you guys just like some cheesy ass hash browns because that might be coming from the purple squad here. Just two types of cheese and hash browns. Hope you like some wheat snack hash browns <laughs> over there because that might be coming that, out of our side. That is good ass cheese. <laughs> okay. Delicious. Mm, good ass cheese. Oh man. Uh, do you want to go over to the judges this time or? Uh, oh, not yet. All right. Uh, not yet. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of us will go over there. And talk One of us will go point. over in just a moment, depending on the timing of this. <laughs> but remember, folks, uh, it's up to you to be voting on ingredients that your chef could use. Graham, what could you be using? I, uh, that's a great question. <laughs> <laughs> what's available? Um, uh, it's pretty much, you don't get to see what's available, but actually, whether, if there was any other kind of meat option, I would love that. Like a bacon would be good. Yeah, like, like bacon, something oh, like that. I'm sorry, did you guys say bacon? We just got oh, bacon like over that. here. Oh Do you guys need some? Do you guys need yes. bacon? Oh is that my god! Oh, oh, that would be good. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, you guys, the that's like the best guys. thing that's happened. Yeah, let's see what else we can get here. Hopefully, uh, we'll end up with something good. I think both of yeah. these are making turning into hash browns, basically. Yeah. I'm gonna go. I'll go over and talk. What is this? You made a mess over here, Ted. Word. Yeah. I'm gonna trip go. on it. All right. <laughs> All right, judges, how are you guys? Perfect. Again, my timing with these judges have been on point the last couple weeks. Every time I roll up here, the judges have just taken a bite. Uh, without giving yeah. numerical values, talk to me about your thoughts on each dish. So we had on uh, Green Squad, uh, it was there was a lot of salty flavors. That, mm -hmm. that was a satisfying part of it. Um, oh, but um, we were really lacking we on moistness. Really yeah. lacking on the moistness, yeah. Yep. Both, both of them had lack of moist. Bo we were both, excited. all right. We were excited for moist. But they were excited yep. for moist. There were not enough moist Wasn't in moist. these dishes, chefs. Oh. Just FYI. All right, mm -hmm. uh, Bonzo, baby, your thoughts on this on this green dish? Uh, on this, oh, the the Sammy. The Sammy. Yeah. I, I like sandwiches. <laughs> I do. I'm a big sandwich fan. <laughs> Great. <laughs> it was such an I like turtles thing. I like sandwiches. No, sandwiches are really important. Uh, and the nacho mugs. Let's talk about the nacho mugs. The mug nachos. Mug uh. nachos. Uh, a lot of the flavor was in the chips. Which yeah. is a is a wonderful thing, but also the curse of greatness, because yeah. the, ch the chips didn't, don't need any specific preparing. I, for one, love the spicy kick. Yeah, I'm I'm all about yep. that spice. All right. Cool. All right. Well, great. Well, thank you guys. We're going to get the scores up here in just a second here, and we will see how that first round ended. Uh, there we go. With a score of 37 to 37, we are oh, once no. again at a dead heat. Oh, uh, really? Wow. wow. Considering we actually, you guys got a penalty. Uh, we, okay, Purple Squad, we each got a minus one. Is that because we were late? Late. Yeah. Why did the Green Squad get a penalty, uh, Solon? I gave a penalty for um, just how dry the bread was. Oh, look at that. The dry ass bread got you guys. Mm. Is right there. Okay, so that's good to know. All right. Well, thank you guys. Uh, we, get, oh, we don't have production Amanda. Come and clear these dishes. I'll clear these dishes oh. for, for you guys. <laughs> thank you. Done. Such a gentleman. Thank you. Wow. Just thank remember you. the purple service squad. in this purple, place. Yeah, from the purple squad. Oh, oh. Just remember the purple squad. Cares. I'll remember that. I, I like squad. bribery. Bribery is purple. very. Solon will remember this. <laughs> uh, so right now, Green Squad, you're voting on a sabotage. Uh, you're going to be sabotaging something on the on the purple squad. Let's give them something terrible. Um, but. And we'll see that in just a moment here. We, I don't know what's going to happen because our Duros and Amanda says in there, how are they going to fry the Duros with no oil? There's literally only one thing you can do with these yep. and there's no oil. So I'm not sure how we're going to do this as we have 11 minutes left. 
before we have to serve this. Um, uh, I don't we know. Got, so we got some green onion offense, and also I wanted to uh, let you know that our chat, our squad, Danny Two Steps says bacon. You can use the grease from the bacon to fry the potatoes. Yeah, so I'm right there with them. I'm already She's on already it, baby. Like yeah, already. we're thinking right the same way. We're dealing with our burner. So uh, <laughs> hey, as you that's see, not cool, man. sabotage. Yeah, right. There is that. Turn oh, off all no. heat, the heat oh, for five no. minutes. What? All right. All right, we just lost heat for five minutes. All right, we, we, we can fix it. We, we can, can fix it. Great, because we only have ten minutes left. That's kind of cruel. All right. Wait a minute, though. Hang on, Danny Two Steps. Says ultimate destruction of a green squad incoming. This God, must be one not. heck of a vote. No, I know. I'm worried. What can possibly go wrong? What are things they can vote on? It could be, uh, it could be ice cubes. Ice cubes, could maybe. Make them, make them a cat again. again. Cat, cat again is what it says. Cat it just says cat just again. Cat one more time. Vote. Multiple cats. Crazy oh, cat. Gosh. It's what? gonna be he. Graham has to go and collect four cats from the outside. Yeah. No, that's that exactly is. what it'll end up being. Ooh, nice. We got the hash that's browns not, going there. Um, <laughs> how are those hash browns turning out there, Graham? They. Uh, we had a bit of a stickage issue. Yeah. Uh -oh. Well, we don't have any oil. But how the, are we expected the, to cook the that? The flavor is going to be there. The flavor is flavor going to be there. I love that. Gonna be. He's positive. Great. Hey, uh, Chef Sarah. Yeah. Out of all the ingredients that are happening over here, what would you like to steal? We got to steal one ingredient. Dang it! You want our duros? <laughs> We've got. How dare we've got you? Mushrooms, garlic powder, uh, pineapple, peanut butter. It looks like black pepper, raisins, hibiscus, uh, pimentos. It looks I, like. I think I want to steal the black pepper. Steal the black pepper. Black we will be pepper. taking that black pepper right all over. All right, there, there we go. So much. Yeah, I've already that used is that. for you. Yep. Excellent. Oh man, did you use like it in the pork though? Oh, I did not. Damn it! No, oh, we didn't perfect. get to use it in the pork there. I would, if I'm open to speak right now, I yeah, would, I would <laughs> love some sort of sauce. Sauce, uh, like a salsa or a hot sauce. Yeah, or a ketchup, even ketchup. Okay, gotcha. So something, something to go on. What? What is the plan? Uh, it's for the hash browns. For the hash browns. Okay. Yeah. Uh, can we go and take a, sh uh, a shot of the stove there? See how those duros are coming out? They puffed up. They did puff they, yeah, up. Yeah, they puffed up. They're still puffing up. Yes. Right now. Oh my out. gosh. Okay, so we got to keep those going up until um, right up until the end there. I'm thinking, let's puff those up. Let's chop them up and pop that right on top of it with the pimento. Be a great crunch. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So I'm glad I did. I've never seen those puff up before like that. So that's awesome. Like, that's really exciting that we were able to overcome that. Uh, all right, uh, Chef Sarah, let's talk about what we got going on over here. You have all this ready to go, but no <laughs> heat. We still need, we still have. Eight and a half minutes left. We're gonna. That's three of those minutes. Two and a, two minutes, forty-five seconds left. We're gonna be no heat. Do you think you'll be able to make three hash, cheesy hash brown, green onion portions in time? Yeah, I, it's really, really, really gonna be dicey, and this is not one that I think I can serve raw. So, um, you know, I'm not. I'm not sure where we go from here on, on this one. All right. So, well, I wish yeah, you the I best mean... of luck. Cause that was that did that was kind of a, a hindrance because we hadn't even started our hash browns yet. Right. I mean. They've also just got some burnt ass hash browns over there. So Ours maybe. look good. Right, right. I mean, raw might be better at this raw point. Raw might be better than I'm burnt. Saying. We'll see. <laughs> yeah. some, some dry rosemary here oh. to, to help you oh, out. That's good. You still have two minutes and 30 seconds before you can actually pop those on in there. The bacon yeah. doesn't look like it's going to get done either. That was a great sabotage green squad there, forcing them to not use something that they really could have used on this dish. Oh, it's real nice. I'm digging that. So, folks, if this is your first time in here, consider following, consider subbing. Join a squad. You could join Purple Squad or you could join Green Squad. You could join Devious Purple. Or you could join Handsome Green. Come on, look at look at look at look at Graham over here. Look at this bone structure. <laughs> look at the bone structure on this guy. Like, my God, you could join Handsome Green Squad or Devious Purple. There you go. But if you have a free Twitch Prime sub available to you, please consider subbing to the channel again, as it does help us out and keep this show going. Uh, let's go over to the judges real fast, and let's talk about the forced ingredients that are going to be uh, present in this dish. The Duros from the Green Squad and the Norwegian Brown Cheese from the Purple Squad. Judges, talk to us about your thoughts on how these dishes, how you think these forced ingredients might affect the dishes. These are going to be exotic flavors yeah, for the side, things that are new to me. And so it's going to be a very shock and awe mm -hmm. kind of moment. I, I'm expecting uh, one, the cheese is probably going to overpower a lot of things that it's going to be put in there. Uh, and also, I want, I want to actually see if the green team can get a little bit of crunchiness with their uh, forced ingredient. Purple, I, I, I also love cheese, but at the same time, it can overpower a lot yep. of things. There's, there's a very strong flavor from this brown cheese, that's for sure. But she's got some black pepper, she's got some onion, some green onion in there, some yellow onion, some green onion, to hopefully sort of counteract the sweetness. Uh, all right, we got our first scoring category. Ted first scoring category for the judges and the chefs to know. Hardcore. 
Oh. Hardcore. Because if you eat raw potato, wow. you are hardcore. Hold on, let's take a look at these duros and how they've turned out. This is magic. Those look awesome. Wow. And I'm really excited. <laughs> that is awesome. I can't believe they turned out so good. Okay. We have a bunch of them here. Can we try one of them and uh, maybe Please. split one in half? Yeah. Let's see how they've... Can we cut it? Yeah. No, we can just... We got it. Let's see. Wow. This is interesting. So we're going to have to probably chop these up yeah. in there, get a little bit of crunch, because I don't think leaving it just like this will be good enough. Let's see. Uh, While well, you guys are doing all that, uh, judges, want, judges and chefs, like to... Yeah, yeah, that's actually pretty good. The next scoring category is picnic. A hardcore picnic. A hardcore, hardcore picnic. picnic. Mm -hmm. Is what I've, we're going. I've out. seen this on WWF. Mm. Oh wow, yeah. Yeah, that is. I can oh, already hardcore feel the picnic. We can work with that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, I, I require head banging to really be good. when our dishes are presented. <laughs> if it has to be hardcore picnic, I want head banging while the dishes are presented. Yep. Yes. This is part of the presentation. Part of the presentation. Part of the presentation. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, that's okay. That's fair. All right. And picnic. You know, everybody takes hash browns and bacon that's over to a picnic. That's, I mean, that's how I go on my picnics. Oh man, so what is your chef doing over there with only four minutes left on the clock? Four minutes left on the clock there, Chef Sarah. What is the plan? Uh, the plan is cook and pray at the same time. Cook and pray at the same time. All right, yeah. we got this. That sounds yeah, easy that sounds no problem. That sounds, yeah, right? no problem so, whatsoever. Yeah, we're into our bacon grease here and we're just gonna hope that these are gonna cook in time. I'm doing the, the pancakes kind of thin here. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, A little bit thinner we'll see, seems the way to go. See what we can do. All right, well, hopefully we don't get knocked on, uh, on penalties again because we did, even though we did serve late, we lost, we lost two points, which would have put us in the lead. Would have put us in the lead. That's yeah, right. you did. Mm -hmm. That's all right. All Ooh. right, so uh, we do want to say, oh, Purple Prime King said, there says, raw bacon and frozen hash browns. Yum. Saturday brunch. <laughs> that's, I mean, that's <laughs> what I eat every day before yeah. I come into work. We figured this out a long, twi a long time ago. Old rich white ladies have it figured out. They just go to brunch on Sundays. They drink mimosas and stuff. It's yeah. great. You know yeah. what? We can... If you live like old fish white ladies, Peaky Pie says, mmm, trichinosis. Yum, yum. Okay, so Graham, what is it, what are you doing over here? We've got the duros all nice and chopped up here. Yep. Um, and then we've got mushrooms that you've uh, also chopped up. Is that gonna go into hash browns? No vision for the mushrooms yet. Okay. Um, but I did find this wonderful pepper. Yeah. To make my dish more picnicky, I think I'm gonna serve the hash browns in the pepper. Are you really? Yeah. What an interesting idea. Time Are we gonna is, try to grill those things on the thing first? Time or? is limited. Yep, time is limited, but we've, I mean, we've basically got the plate ready to go. We're gonna get the duros going here in just a second, but uh, we've got three minutes basically to fuck with whatever yes. we want to at this yes, point. We, we can, we can really get things going, you know, really plan it out, give something nice to you judges over there. I do, I want to see some creativity Ooh. out of Green Squad, yeah. and, I, and I'm, so I'm really liking the turn that this is taking. Yeah, you're, you're enjoying sandwich. it. Appreciate nice, yeah. oh my no, gosh. This is a great so, idea. Looks well, like the judges are impressed. About, oh yeah, Purple is very good about dealing with curveballs, I yep. believe. Yep, so, very flexible team very on flexible Purple. Very flexible team on Purple. All right, they send your flexible, Chef Sarah. Uh, kind of gotta be when you got no heat, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have two, uh, just over, just under two minutes remaining, oh, just under boy. three minutes remaining. Thoughts, I mean, you, there's definitely some smoke coming from these potatoes, so maybe not okay. so much a pancake as is, you know, maybe a, a potato dish. Yeah, yeah. That's there's some a... brownage happening, I see that there, yeah. <laughs> a little bit of little brown. Oh, nice. Good luck with those cherries they just gave you. Oh, well, that's fine. We don't need to use them. Can I eat one? Yeah, sure, go for it. We're not, we're not gonna be using them. I like them. cherries, so. I don't think we're gonna be using them. They're not forced to agree in. Danny Tuesday like, says cherries, I know, I know. Uh, no, that's fine. No, no, just giving, them, just giving them garbage. What's fun about this show is this time, this wasn't a planned ingredient show. Everything was randomized. Yeah. <clears throat> What's going on on the stove there, uh, Graham? What you doing? Failed on the panini press. Gonna heat these up over the stove. See okay. Get. Is the panini press not heating up fast enough? It's just too slow and I got a time here. Let's so. see. I mean, it I mean, seems like it's pretty warm right now. Mm -hmm. You got just one minute and 52 minutes. seconds. I think you might be able to. I think I should. Uh, I mean, we got a minute and 45 seconds to mm -hmm. mess around there. I think we got enough time to, you know, maybe uh, I can help you out here with the bowls as well. Transfer over. I mean, if you had, can we There we go. What's that uh, coming oh, no. from the judges over there? I mean, if you had tongs, expose it to fire. That's a good way to get it. If we had tongs and expose it oh. to fire, we don't have tongs, unfortunately. Tongs so. I know. Oh, too bad. We don't have tongs. <laughs> yeah, too bad. Too bad for us. Don't that is well. quick there. 
I think those are going pretty damn quick. All right, Chef Sarah, what do you got going on over in the back there? Yeah, so I'm taking that Norwegian cheese yep. and I'm pairing it up with the bacon. Okay. I think it gives Love it that it. sort of salty yeah, steak yeah, absolutely. kind of a thing. And we'll see if we can do that as a, a garnish on our nice raw potato here. Great, all right, <laughs> on that nice raw potato. I mean, like I said, eating raw potato, that's pretty hardcore. <laughs> That's hardcore. That's hardcore. And so, so this might not work out in your favor. You have oh God. 50 seconds left right. before, before okay. hands in the air type of deal here. I'm gonna move these plates a little bit further okay. down to make this plating okay. easier for you. Okay. Look, McGrady, three minutes ago. Well, we get them uh, randomly like that. I think that's cooked enough on these that's guys. So let's get these uh, in their bowl there. Yep. Oh, I don't want you to burn your hands. So we got 30 seconds left there, Graham. Correct. So let's see if we can nuzzle this. I like the term nuzzle. Can you grab or the pepper? Point? Yeah, I can. Uh, honestly, a roguelike cooking show is a pretty badass there we go. idea. You know, that's, uh, that's, that's what we do. Go for it. That's what we do. Oh, of course, they get eggs. All right, you got uh, 15 seconds left. Oh. Go right on there, I guess. Seems fine. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, that one. There we go. All right. all right, so we are all set. Let's take these two over here. Ooh. So as requested, that's the what we need. I don't, like, sort of, like, my, uh, I don't want my glasses to fall off. All right, from the Purple Squad, we have your hardcore. Uh, Keep going. Dude, it's the raw diet. Uh, the hardcore uh, potato with the fortune ingredient, the brown cheese, is, which has been uh, cooked with the bacon to sort of counteract okay. that sort of sweet and salty. Um, okay. There's also some green onion inside the potato. Uh, so there you go. All right, so this is our hardcore bell peppers filled with hash browns with a little Bro. pimento on it. Bro. Yeah! 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 <laughs> and it's great for a picnic with the family. You can have bell peppers grilled inside your panini press. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. So, I hope you enjoy this. Uh, thank you very much. Yes, thank you're you. welcome. No problem. Thank you. The, uh, thank you. I love that uh, PewDiePie says, with the dandruff garnish. So enjoy the yum, dandruff yum. garnish there on that. Excuse uh, me. I keep there. these hair, this hair nice and clean. You think I you think I let dandruff get in this hair? Excuse me. <laughs> who, who, you, who you think you're dealing with here? Pukey Pie says that. <laughs> Pukey Pie says that. So we got another one uh, coming up here. Graham, this is looking good over here. Uh, we got a red onion available to us. I found a part of a red onion in there, so let me give that one to you. <laughs> there's one right over there. Why don't you ever look for this one in the space where there's Oh, there's one over there? Hold on. Come on. Now oh, I got a red onion. Right. I think that'd go great in that ground pork. Red onion would be fantastic in this pork. Uh, I would also really love something like breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs? Yeah. Uh, damn it, if only we had that bread left over, we could have right. <laughs> done that. Well, that was great. I'm glad at how, I'm surprised at how good our last dish turned out. This looks terrible. This knife is a struggle. No, it's gonna be fine. Uh, Chef Sarah, talk to me about what you got going on here. Ground pork, you've got the burgers. So luckily, things haven't been too much, but you've also yeah. got all oh, this cheese, this onion, these hash browns, these, uh, these uh, grilled onions you got. Yeah. You have the makings of what could be an excellent burger. There's no bread. So it might be again the uh, it's an open face the burger. The open face burger without <laughs> right. the bread. Uh, right. Do you have any other thoughts? Or are you going to try to continue down this burger route? Yeah, I think I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to do uh, a, a burger here, maybe with um, some of these caramelized onions, a little bit of this cheese I've got going here, um, and uh, I've got some bacon grease. So that's what we're yeah. That's what we're cooking. There's still, there's still a actually, lot of bacon like, in here. Crisp some of that yeah. up. So, and you, you, yeah, and you've got your heat back. So all yeah. right, sounds great. For now I mean, we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, and uh, I do want to say, look at that force ingredient for us, unfortunately. All right, you guys are gonna be forced to use a fruit cocktail, which I think is over on your side. Her oh, yeah, I yeah, did pull that. So right. Graham just actually said, oh, perfect. Were you actually kidding? Or no, fruit I'm, cocktail will go I'm, great with this. I am actually just put pineapple on the burner back there, because yeah. I want to reduce the sauce a little bit and make a nice sauce for my pork meatball. Yeah, so are you actually gonna be using the sauce from the fruit cocktail then? Uh, I will, yes. Nice. Oh, All my right. God. That's uh, fantastic. So, so, judges, in case you missed it, on the green squad, the item that must be present in the next dish, fruit cocktail. Fruit cocktail. Yep. This okay. is the fruit cocktail right here. Yeah. Just so you can see it there. And so uh, we, get, we get... You guys get... Cracker Jacks. Jacks. <laughs> so, uh, you guys got to put in your dish. And, uh, judges, so you hear that, Cracker Jacks must be present in the purple squad dish. Before we do that, before I hand over these crackers, well, yeah, we gotta open yeah. this up. We gotta get that prize. Yeah, let's out see what there. the prize is. Let's see here. This Why is the this, best part. This is taped. Oh wow! What is this? An old Cracker Jack box? <laughs> like this... who opened this up already? No, know. it's still there. What are your thoughts on the? How are you gonna use Cracker Jacks in this? 
Yeah, so I think I want to do uh, like a little, like instead of doing fries or something like that, maybe on the side we'll do like a bacon cracker jack um, like snack. Like, or maybe that's dessert, something. Maybe something that's dessert, like that. huh? Yeah, we'll see. Mm -hmm. Maybe maybe crumbling some of these Cracker Jacks yeah. and uh, maybe you can use it as breading to bind, maybe? Mm, I think it's, it's going to be a little sweet for that. That is true. It is a little yeah. sweet. That is, that is deep in there. I can't even get the prizes deep in there. You know what? I'm going to pour them all out here in this mixing bowl. <laughs> I, want that, I, want that, I want those prizes here. All right. Yeah, there it is. All right. Finally, we got there. We got the prize. Graham, what are you doing over here? You just cracked an egg into this just to I bind did. everything, yes, I think? Just to bind it. Uh, again, I'm trying to make a meatball. And, yeah. Uh, so the egg is, and the so egg, I, a bowl would have been nice. The a egg bowl would have been nice, yeah. There. But uh, so it looks like this is what we're dealing with, though. What, how are you planning on cooking that? On the panini press? Or are you thinking of cooking that in the? Uh, panini press. Panini press. All right. Panini press comes, uh, is very, very um, beneficial. It seems like most folks end up using that panini press. You could use that. It's basically a grill. Yeah. It's basically a grill. It's a George Foreman, a big one. So. Which is great, you know. You got something made by the champ over there. And you should it's give great. a nice char to the meatballs as well. Yeah, absolutely. You think that pork is gonna cook all the way through on that guy? I'm trying to make them small enough so that they will and get them on here. And yeah, we'll absolutely. I'm excited. Minutes, we so. got we have 15 minutes. I think that pork can cook through yep. pretty all right that uh, through there. Ted, he can crumble the Cheerios. Oh my God, we have Cheerios. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> Thank you, Green Squad, for letting us know. Can you pour some on there? Yeah, I can. I can absolutely. Yeah, why don't we just crack these? That is a great idea. Didn't even think about that. Good job, Purple or Green Squad. Fuck you, Purple Squad. Uh, we've got Jesus. The, <laughs> wow. We have got sweet relish that they have just given to Ooh, us. I don't know dude, if that'll go good in that uh, though. As not, a side? Not, not with my cocktail. No. Flavoring I was hoping for. No, unfortunately. That was a great, great suggestion from PMO. Forgot we even had the Cheerios available. Hey, you've been snacking them the, the whole time. Why don't you go talk to the judges and All right, let's go talk to the judges here. I think they are ready for us to chat with. All right, welcome back, judges. Hey, hey. how's it going? Uh, really incredible. Yeah, wow. A huge improvement on really? both sides. I'm just so satisfied. Mm -hmm. When, when given all these curveballs, uh, they're feel, I feel like they're really getting in their element, and so yeah. I'm excited to see what the last dish is going to be like after that. Sure. Uh, so, what did you think of those two dishes? Let's get a quick rundown from both y'all. Bonsai duros. Duros. Oh, I like duros. They're, Duros are good. They're Duros pretty good, are good, aren't they? Yeah. Yes. So those traditionally come already cooked in a bag, and when you go to the swap meet, they take uh, chili and they spray it all on top of it, and then oh, they yeah. put a little bit of lime sauce in it. Oh, yeah, and yeah. And it's something you carry around with you. Yeah, very oh, good. nice. Very good. Well, I'm glad those satisfied you. Yeah. How was the dish as a whole? Uh, hardcore. Hardcore. Spicy. 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 Wow. Spicy. Yeah. Yes. They're spicy in there. Nice. Okay, so you both dug that. What about the purple okay. dish? Okay. Oh. What do you want to say about the purple dish? Oh, oh, oh. Because it was, the meat was delicious. The meat was. Just absolutely delicious. Mm -hmm. Yes, and, and I like that I could all get the whole dish in one bite. Right. I was just like, ha ha, nom nom nom. <laughs> yep. Yes. And, uh, well, perfect. Thank you. So, uh, satisfied on both ends. Yes. I really am. Very awesome. And it makes me really excited to see what the climax of all of yeah. this becomes. Yeah, I'm excited. So, Shit. let's reveal the scores. Oh, it was Purple Squad 32, Green Squad 42, oh, taking wow. a 10 point lead there. What the looks penalty? like it was. The penalty was I didn't really taste any of the cheese at all. Ooh, oh, wow. My. We got knocked out. So that was a five, five penalty. point penalty five there. Points. That's incredible. Ow. Five looks points. Looks like Picnic wow. also. Purple Squad did not get any points on Picnic, while Green Squad lost, only got five there. Solon giving it a whopping nine points for the Green Squad on Picnic. Wow. I got to get my hands in there. I got to just use my hands, just bare paw it right into my <laughs> mouth. Oh, it was a hardcore picnic. Wow. That's Hell exactly yeah. what a hardcore yeah. picnic is. Mine was, awesome. I had to use <laughs> utensils, yeah. and that pic picnicking sounds like, for me, like you don't use hand food. It's hand food. Picnic has well, always been hand food for me. Well, thank you, judges. We appreciate it. We'll come back to you real soon here. Hmm. All right, so what's happened? You guys got some Pop Rocks to use All right. for whatever <laughs> Pop rocks. We got We got some caramel ice cream. Uh, OK, enjoy Easy. that one. Yeah, don't well, put beer not, in that, by the way. Well, they're not forced. These are just things that are just showing up, apparently. Yeah, I mm -hmm. guess I guess we've reached that point where everything is awful. 
Taste for the, the explosion. For, yeah. Let's Speaking taste. of beer, uh, Chef Sarah, you got a lager? You got a, a nice Rainier that you can use for something somewhere? Good. Mm -hmm. At some point. Mm -hmm. if you want to just Cracker Jacks, right? Yeah, if you want to just crack it back yourself. Uh, <laughs> it's a harsh, harsh, fi minus five for not. I know. Cheese. What'd you thought? I mean, they didn't They didn't taste my bacon cheese, and like, I'm, I'm sad about that. I really am. Mm -hmm. That's, yeah, that's that's a shame. I, I mean, I that's such an overpowering like thing. Spikes. It's. Right? I thought yeah. for sure maybe because I tasted it. Oh well, it's, it's you what tasted happened. it on the way out. <laughs> I, I mean, I tasted it and I thought it was fine. So Graham, over here, I wanted to ask real quick. You did mention they look like sliders. They're, Are they going to turn into little sliders? They might. Just the the pressure of the panini press pushing yeah. it down. They so. squished them. How's your sauce back there sauce, turning out? Uh, it's reducing slightly. It's not going as quick or as thickening up as much as I'd like. But uh, you do have that front burner that has more heat on it. You if do. you want, that might be something to consider. I'm glad you're here. Yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm here. I'm here to help. We're a team. This is a team effort. There we go. There we go. I'm excited about that. That sauce is gonna go real good with those sliders there. Now, sabotage. We get to add two two teaspoons of uh, of your liquid. What is my liquid? What is that? That's a real dirty. It has, sounds awkward. <laughs> <laughs> of my liquid to any dish. Um, well. Uh, Any liquid that I have? Yeah. yeah. Well, we have chicken broth. Can I make some Pop Rocks liquid? <clears throat> oh, my. Could we make some Pop Rock liquid? Yeah. Let's go for it. Yeah, why not? I mean, I'll just... Let's do that. Uh, Put a little bit of water in, yeah, in uh, the mix it in there, and we'll add two teaspoons of that yeah. to their dish. Sure. We'll, we'll heat it up a little bit. There we go. Let's do that real <laughs> quick. That way we can make sure we get that in there. They're also voting on a sabotage for us right now. What the hell? It's like a dish that's cooking. It's yeah. sizzling it's over there. Sizzling on That's itself hilarious. There. Well, there we go. Now it's our liquid, and now let's it's make that uh, for them. Liquid. All right. So yeah. there's one teaspoon of this. Uh, what do we add it to? Uh, we only have well. So we've got this right here. Do we want to add it to bacon. their pork burgers? I do. Okay. There we right, go. Right. Let's just I really do. Let's just add the <laughs> pop rocks. Right sure. over there, pop rock liquid. That, it's mostly that's water. Like pork, like there's a sweetness, you know like one? they go goes yeah. well together. Yeah, like it's you do yeah that. but it's pop rocks. Uh huh. <laughs> all right. I think your life's gonna be go. fine with all of the saltiness that's gonna be coming out from here. There we go. Yeah. Enjoy that watery yeah. pop rock liquid. You can you can just continue. I think you I think it'll be fine. This may actually only make it harder to cook. Oh I think. no. Is happen? Uh, so there we go. Great purple squad is sabotage just place three ice cubes in any of the other squad's dish. Okay. So they might pop it in that guy over there. Oh no. You think it'll reduce quick enough now? I'm, I, I can only find this one ice cube. So <laughs> we're just gonna. <laughs> So it's it's gonna not go one ice put, cube. Get the we'll fuck out of here with that. There. All right, yeah. so we're gonna go ahead and just add the three ice cubes. I think it's just, we I, just. I think you should right. put it right into the center of each meatball. Right in the center of each meatball. He's yeah. already got six meatballs going though. Wouldn't we rather? He's trying to reduce the pineapple oh, yeah. sauce well, there. Yeah. All right. That's, so there's that's one. Not that right there. yeah. Okay. There's two. <laughs> Well, that's not, that counts as that one, That is not, right? no, 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 that does not count as one. Get out of here. That's what I missed, sorry, hang on. Okay. There's more in here. Yeah, use the floor one. I use the floor one. <laughs> Take that, judges. And he's still adding that in there. There it is, there we go. All right, there folks, if go. you are just watching for the first time, I went to that camera right as I, if you are just watching for the first time, please do consider subbing to us. Please consider a follow. Uh, if you haven't joined a squad, join a squad there. You'll see a little prompt on your screen that says, join a squad. And you can either join the green squad or the purple squad. Wow. All right, those cooked through pretty quick there. They're looking beautiful. I don't know yeah. if it's all the way through, but. Well, I mean, we have a meat thermometer. Do we? Yeah, we have a meat thermometer uh, somewhere around here. Is that a boat, or can I have that? Uh, yeah, we can get it. Let's check in with Chef Sarah. Chef Sarah, talk to me about what you got going on over there on that, on that stove. Yeah, so we've got a, um, a spicy pork burger going, open-faced burger, right? And uh, we're going to do that with a little bit of these caramelized onions. And then we've got a Cracker Jack bacon snack um, to go paired with it. So we're just doing like a, a spicy sweet oh, uh, right. kind spicy. of a thing. You call it a Cracker Snack. Yeah, there you go. Uh, uh, yeah. Cracker <laughs> Snack, Cracker Snack. Do you have a, a nice little... Nice little meat patty with uh, with some cracker snack. We have production looking for that meat thermometer here for us. As it isn't seemingly it, has disappeared. Is it, not, it was around gross? earlier. We did see it, so we do want to make sure your pork is cooked. Uh, we do cooked it's well. Right, it's right here. Oh, here it is. It's right there. Come on, man. There we you go. Bother to look. You see that? He stopped looking, judges. That's how little he cares about your guys' health. He stopped. He's like, I give up. We, we have helpers. Like, he's like, productions here. 
Excuse yeah, me, we are the talent. They are looking yeah, for production and, and is helping. And this talent cares about the judges enough to go find the meat thermometer for your squad. Ooh, oh. Graham, how are those looking over there? Looking beautiful. Looking beautiful, all right. I think we might have to deduct points just because one cares for us more. Yep. Uh, yep. Ted oh. going full diva. Yeah, diva. Full <laughs> diva. Wait, what do you mean going? <laughs> no, that's that's been a thing. Yeah, that's... <laughs> all right, the first scoring category is coming up here. So, all right, you guys, so squads, you guys have seen how harshly these judges are judging. So think think very carefully about these scoring categories to ensure... I mean, they're, this is probably the craziest batch of scoring categories I've ever seen. And uh, it's just nuts. George BC says, the set has changed so much since it was just a microwave and a laptop. <laughs> <laughs> what the what? hell? They can see what they can see what's being voted on, I think, and they're like Bonsai Baby's really excited about one of she's them. Some, she's very excited about something that's going on for the green or for the purple squad over here. Ooh, Graham, we got Romano cheese. You think that'll be good with this pork or no? I don't. No, okay, good to know. <laughs> not even a little bit. Not, not even a little bit. Not is even what he a says. little bit. All right. Well, first then. Oh. Triangular is the first scoring category. Triangular. Yes. So you might want to right. reshape those burgers yeah. right yeah. now. That's powerful a, form. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. so what were Anything you hoping for, Bonsai Baby? I was hoping for without teeth. Without? Can you eat it without teeth? Yeah. Oh. No oh. teeth. You so often don't use your teeth to eat. Like an 80% speed run of a video game, but it's like a no teeth run of a no, no teeth run. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. That's a great, Perfect. Uh, great little. Uh, uh, and Chef no, Sarah, it's a right, right away because her meat hasn't started cooking. It's still able to go and shape her. She's now shaping, guys. Judge, I want to let you know that Chef Sarah is now shaping her patties into the shape of a triangle. Oh. Perfect. Now we also have Chef Graham, who was like perfect when he heard that. So I'm not sure what he's gonna do, considering our. Pork was already cooked all the way through. We got five minutes left. Graham, what are you thinking for triangular? Uh, I'm thinking about garnishing it with this uh, leftover pepper I have and yeah. making some sort of triangular pattern on yeah. top of my plate. No, that's good. That's outside. That is thinking about what you could do because it was already ready. What do you do at that point? You're, you're you do gonna, that. You're gonna taste the triangle. Oh, oh if you're gonna taste the triangle is what he said. <laughs> now we also want to say yeah. to our judges, judges and chefs, <laughs> the second scoring category that the squads have voted on, sloppy. Sloppy. It's now, a good thing triangles are comp are such a mess. Yeah, with no, the, the three, 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 90 degree angles. angles. Yeah. Or, so, sorry, 45 degree angles. They're, so the perfect, the perfect sloppiness. All right, that is the end of the scoring categories right. or the voting categories. If you have just joined us, you want to vote, come back next week. Yeah. Uh, keep watching, we'll come back next week. So that's going to be the end of it right now. We're going to continue to check in with the chefs uh, what's going on. Let's actually, let's talk to our judges yeah. about triangle, triangular, and sloppy. What does that mean to you? We believe in the Triforce. Believe in the Triforce. <laughs> what does sloppy mean, though? Give us sloppy. Sloppy. <laughs> sloppy Joe. Like. There's, so we can have triangles, we can have sloppy on them, but what if we just had a, tri a sloppy triangle? Just oh, a sloppy, sloppy triangle. triangles, yes. Oh, okay. Just like sloppy eh, three sides, four yeah, sides. Uh, <laughs> who knows at this point? Uh, three sides. Three, anyways. like, weird kind of curvy sides. Three-ish sides, sides maybe. Three, three sides, sides, four like, angles. I mean, like, that's a circle over there. That's, <laughs> <laughs> I will say, I need at least one angle. At least one, one angle. angle. Okay. Okay. Hard one edge. There we go. That is, the, that is the criteria. Now, at least one here's angle. Here's something. I think I got that. Graham. Those uh, those pineapple pieces are triangular. Quite triangular. Quite triangular, yeah, aren't they? More of a hexagonal it's shape. Well, they He's did trying. say they wanted it maybe four angles, is what <laughs> they said. So <laughs> that's, that's a triangle with four angles. <laughs> sure. So yeah. it looks like we're fitting everything the judges have asked there for. There you go. There you go. Uh, I bet green, win green wins. If not, I'm gifting the sub. All right, first you guys lose. You guys oh, lose. Wait, first of all, Maggie Punk, that's just rude to, hide, to, ho to hold the sub a hostage there. Oh, like, man. We need the help. Uh, I mean, the channel itself would love the help and would love the sub. And I'm sure somebody in the chat would love the sub. Just holding the sub hostage is just rude. There we go. That's just mean. Sloppy triangles. <laughs> this is very sloppy. Yeah, look at this. I'm loving this. We got sloppy triangles sloppy on our thing. Sloppy triangles. This I is mean, going Purple good. I mean, Purple Team could come out and win all they wow. can. Like 10 plus points? She's making, you, you guys, you have no idea what Chef Sarah over here is making all kinds of sloppy triangles. So much so things didn't even look like triangles. That's how <laughs> sloppy they are. Just wait till you see. Uh, we've got Chef Sarah, you have just under three minutes left. All right. um, those are some pretty thick patties. Are you concerned about the pork being cooked all the way through? You know, no, I'm not. I think I got them on in time. And uh, what about I think the charring, the black on the side on them? That adds well, flavor. That's flavor. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, come on now. Because it cooked in where she was cooking the onion. So that's not charred, that's onion frond. Right. It's onion frond. That's Cooked on the, uh, cooked on there. Uh huh. Maybe you should learn to cook, Ted. Maybe you should okay. learn about cooking. Yeah. Yeah, Mike, who doesn't know his way around a kitchen. Um. So, <laughs> so Graham, 
Is that sauce reducing all right? Uh, it'll be a nice addition to the pork. Okay, gotcha. I'm excited for that. We that was our forced ingredient was using that um, was using that uh, fruit cocktail. So we have used mm -hmm. the juice out of that to form a nice little sauce for that pork to go with. Appreciate the beer. Yeah, no, they gave you a beer, which was really nice. <laughs> Maggie says, but that's how bets work. Apparently, bet means you hold a sub hostage. Yeah, no, from that's a, what that means. From a channel. He's ga maybe he's gambling with somebody else. It's just we maybe. don't know. Who knows? So purple wins. Somebody else gives the sub. Man, it's, we didn't see that pop up, Maggie. No, we didn't. No, that's <laughs> fine. There. I'm excited. How do you think your dish is turning out here, Mike? Uh, I mean, it's looking pretty amazing over there. Those yeah. onions smell amazing. That yeah. pork. So we got some really sloppy triangular pork discs over there. Uh, Oh, we know how to sell this dish. They're going to sit there saying, oh, right. figure out how to sell wow. the dish. We're going to sell it. We're going to sell Ooh, it the way we do. That bacon and cracker jack. Have you never had a sweet and it's salty? A, it's a that's, salad. It's a, yeah, made. that's right. It's a sloppy wow. triangular yeah. salad. <laughs> sloppy. That isn't a triangular. <laughs> So now, there you go. There she yeah, goes. Yeah, and that's a, that is said. now a sloppy triangle that right there. That is now a sloppy well, triangle. See, well, there you go. You have chefs really going for it with the triangles. You have a minute triangles. and 16, Chef Sarah. Let's, we got to right. start plating and start. Ready. That was fast. Graham, what you got? What, how, how do you want me to present this? This is my pineapple right, is juice dessert. and cocktail reduction that I'm slopping over the meat sliders. Okay. Um, and this... This really is the uh, the trinity here. We've yeah. got we've got peppers, we've got pineapple, and we've got pork. Wow! <laughs> Not only is it a triangular shaped dish, but it has also got three different sort of flavors or little num nums that are on yeah. that dish, as and we call them. I, and I want you to highlight <coughs> the sloppiness of yeah. this uh, pineapple uh, juice that we have. Okay, uh, yeah, absolutely. I can do that, no problem. All right, Chef's 30 second left. Chef Sarah, how are we presenting this dish to them? Yeah, so this is a, a spicy and sweet triangle. So I want to emphasize the sloppy onions and yep. the sloppy triangle on our spicy, sweet uh, pork <laughs> burger with a, a nice little um, bite in our Cracker Jack there. And, Great. Uh, yeah. All right, is this ready to go? I think that's ready this to go. This is ready to go. Look at that. Early. All right. Mm -hmm. You guys get to eat early. Here, here, we Excuse me. Yes. Oh, oh, sorry. I was trying to try to knock you off balance. Trying to help you there? I'm set. Would you see that? The green squad just tried to knock me off uh, balance. Here wow. you go. Oh. Courtesy of the purple squad, the sloppy triangular, salty and sweet and spicy. Uh, we got a little like bit of spice. Levels of triangles. There's here. levels and upon levels upon levels of triangles there. Uh, yeah. The fourth ingredient, of course, the cracker jack, which was mixed in with some of the bacon. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, there you go. Please to be enjoying. Mm -hmm. All right. And here is from Green Squad, the Green Squad's dish here is going to have that nice little uh, pineapple and cocktail sauce reduction in there, and we've now and we've used that as a sauce for our pork. And notice how sloppy that is all over that plate. It is all see, over that plate. Everything's oh everywhere. Oh yeah, but as you can yep. also see, we've got the Triforce, as you both believe in there, as you said, <laughs> in triangles. Everything is triangle shaped, but then this one. Triangle, but almost triangle shaped. Wow. You can see with that bell pepper. Can't so you, you for can one you sloppy it? triangle versus two sloppy triangles? Can you triangles? believe that? The geometry or lack thereof is, is very impressive in both yes. these dishes. <laughs> yes. You guys, you guys taste both dishes. We'll come back to you guys yeah. uh, in a bit there. Yeah, oh, All right. absolutely. That Enjoy. is it. That is it, chefs. We are done. You have survived for now. Squad says served on what we were calling shit show Saturday, <laughs> oh, where it was just a ran where everything was just randomized to crap out here. Here's what's gonna happen. We are gonna take a small break. We are gonna rearrange the set and we're gonna get ready for the, our after show. Squad says chill. But before we go to chill, when we come back, we are gonna talk to our chefs about dishes one and dishes two. We are going to make and we're gonna talk to the judges and find out the winner of Squad Says Serve and find out who's gonna break this tie from this week right yep. here. Ladies and gentlemen, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Hey, welcome back everybody to Squad Says Serve. I'm eating a gummy bear and my name is Ted's friend. Uh, I'm Mike Robles and I was also eating a gummy bear, which is why I made, which is why I made Ted welcome us back. Cookie Pie says, Will and Graham supposed to have one any spice? He, he did. He, he did. Won, uh, Actually, it was the, uh, we started out with that uh, garlic, uh, powder. garlic powder. Maybe we didn't um, express it enough and tell them, but. 7 Eleven currently has 52,000 stores in 16 countries, by the way, also. Thank you for that fun fact, George BC. Thanks, George. Appreciate Chefs. that. Chef, you did it. You survived. Yeah, you did. survived. You, did. you survived. Yeah. Let's talk about dishes one and dish two, shall we? Uh, dish one, 
was that skirt steak? Uh, let's go over to Graham. Graham, talk to us about the skirt steak. Yeah. And so your thoughts while cooking. Everyone loves a good skirt steak. Oh yeah. Um, nice to get a good sear and char on it. You know, I started actually on the um, the uh, the pan, but I moved it to the panini press because it added some nice grill lines. Uh, chopped it up, put it on a buttered. A uh, buttered loaf of bread with some of those um, dehydrated uh, mushrooms, which I rehydrated in butter and a little bit of water, and then uh, the uh, the red peppers on top. Yeah, great, uh, Chef Sarah. Talk to us about your your nacho mugs. Yeah, my nacho, your nacho mug mugs. Talking about that. It was not low carb. It either. was not. No, yeah. no, yeah. it was so, not. So uh, we did um, a, a chipotle rub on yep. our uh, skirt steak. Um, and then I cut that up very thin um, on the bias and went ahead and seared that on both sides. Um, added some flavor with the taco chips and some grilled um, caramelized onions and uh, went to town. Oh, and let's not forget our cheesy chipotle sauce That's to make right. it nice yep. and moist. Nice and moist. And the thing <laughs> that judges talk about, both, both those dishes, they wanted more moist. It was not moist. It was not moist enough for both mm, judges. Yeah. The judges said the number one result was it needed to be more moist. Yeah. All right. And then let's go ahead and go over to dish number two here. Graham, tell us a little bit about your dish. Yeah. So I, um, I again seared some hash browns and some butter uh, on <clears throat> on the stove top, and then I added, uh, I believe there's garlic powder, red pepper flakes. Um, there was black pepper until it was stolen to me, but it did make its way into this dish. Uh, served it picnic style on a yellow pepper uh, and topped with some what of the- that picnic <clears throat> style? Again, <laughs> as a uh, grab and go snack. Uh -huh. is how it would be served. And then uh, again, topped with some red pepper and uh, you're gonna have to remind me what these puffy crisps are called? Duros. <laughs> Those. They actually, the judges said they liked them a lot too. They, you, yeah, they managed to puff up and crisp up nicely. Uh, Chef Sarah, let's talk about your hardcore <laughs> raw potato yeah, salad. Yeah, that's what made it hardcore that's what made right it hardcore. there. Yeah, uh, so, so no heat for most of the round. Yeah, on that yeah, one. we lost heat um, in the last 10 minutes. We lost heat for half of that time, yeah. which is brutal. It was, it was. But uh, fortunately, we got some bacon. And so we did a, uh, a bacon, uh, I don't know if we call that a lot cut. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Pile of, pile of potato shreds. Yeah. Uh, pile of potato shreds is fine for me. I, yeah. I, that's what I'd call it. Yeah, but you know, with a little bit of green onion and some pepper um, and, and cooked in bacon grease with a little bit of crispy bacon on top. So can't go wrong with that. That's true. All right. Well, apparently we could because the cheese wasn't enough for the bacon. To, yeah, to, we got kind of minus five points is harsh. Uh, speaking of harsh, let's bring over the uh, those two the two sassy harsh judges that judge yeah, these dishes. over so guys, Mondai, baby. Sloan and uh, Sl Sloan. Sloan. <laughs> Sloan. Uh, Sloan and Bonsai, baby, come on over, guys. Let's get your thoughts and opinions here. You missing a chair? What did you guys do? Oh. Why didn't you grab a chair? It's on your side. That doesn't mean you can't grab it. Jeez, I'm sorry. Here you go, Bonsai. Let me grab a chair for you. I'm going to hand it over to Ted and make him do all the work. Uh, oh, right. I can well, have a chair. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Great job, everyone. Welcome back. All right, so judges, we're going to talk yeah. specifically about dish three, just like we do in the, yeah. in the first two rounds. Mm -hmm. Tell us your thoughts specifically on dish three. Uh, we'll, go ahead and we'll start over here with the uh, this, this pork dish here, this ground pork. So uh, by the end of the, the meal, I had just mixed everything together because it was all fabulous. Mm -hmm. It was just <laughs> a wonderful experience all the way through. Uh, uh, you, your bet with the bacon and Cracker Jacks was brilliant. Yes, that worked brilliant. perfectly. I'm such a salty, sweet fiend that, like, yeah, no, it was excellent. And I'm not going to lie, their presentation was prettier. Oh, it was. Prettier. It was prettier. I more, think. you have more thoughts though, about this other, about the rest of this dish? Oh, uh, oh also, I love Cracker Jacks. So nice. I, oh, that was an that. advantage towards you because it's one of my, like, favorite things to snack on, especially mm -hmm. during Christmas when you have, like, the caramel corn... Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. The big five dollar tins that yeah. like, that'll last you until June. So yep. I was like, oh, they're gonna automatically get points. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Great. Uh, let's go ahead and let's talk about uh, Graham's dish, his his triforce triangular tri lot try hard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. There Graham's a nice guy. He's a nice guy. Uh, I like the sweetness to the the burger, mm -hmm. uh, and it, it just added that extra little flavor because it's kind of like almost like a Hawaiian style yeah. patty or like pork patty. Yeah. I yeah. really enjoyed that, and also <clears throat> kudos for the Triforce Zelda symbol. <laughs> uh, yeah, my biggest critique on it was the pineapple reduction. Uh, I don't feel like it brought enough to the game that uh, that we were both expecting. I'm sure you were expecting a lot of it too. Um, and not so as it's, strong. It's not as strong as I thought it was would be. Mm -hmm. um, would you it say it was watered down a bit? A little, <laughs> that might actually be what it was. <laughs> oh yeah. Like it had a syrupy 
like consistency, it probably would have added more points, sure. but yeah. somehow it just was a little water. So, I don't know what happened. Somehow. Other, other than that, though, well, it was It looks fabulous. like it was tit for tat there with that uncooked <laughs> potato <laughs> versus yeah, our, our yeah, watery but, reduction. But was that enough? We went into that round with a 10 point. Oh, yeah. Tail. That, is, that is a lot of ground to make up. Let's grab our chef's uh, chef Come on coming out. Yeah. You're going to stand right here in the center. We're about to get the final score. Oh, uh, Logan Musa's great show today. Um, no, George says, I thought the Cracker Jacks were crackers when I voted for them. All right. Yeah, so with that in mind, let's go ahead and get the scores from production and declare a winner at the end of launch week to break the tie that is currently 2-2 two to two between Purple Squad and Green Squad. Production, One, 118 for the Purple, purple. Squad. And for the Green Squad, 1... This is on the first. Oh, Whoa! 32! Wow. Stella, yeah. congratulations. Woo! Green oh, squad. We got you another one, Graham. Right. Heck yeah. You. We did that. Let me grab you your belt. You tried your best. Uh, you did make up that ground. Ooh, we did make yeah. up the ground, so but it's still there going into that. Yeah. Going into that. Mr. Winner. Very nice. Very nice. Chef guy. BJ White 211 <laughs> gifted a sub, it looks like. I, oh, I don't know if they were gifted God. one or if they uh, got a gift, but oh, thank BJ you, BJ White. White. <laughs> there, right. Bonsai Baby Sissel. All right. Awesome. We're going to be right back. We're going to take a quick 20 second break. We're going to put the scores up there full screen for you guys to see how it all shook down, what the breakdowns were. We'll be right back with Squad Says Chill. Hey, welcome back, everybody. It I is... hope you're happy you've run off my chef. She left. Yeah, she, she left. left. She's she so left mad. in a huff. She is so mad at you. Because she was you so she was so angry at Chef Ted for everything he said during Squad Says Sir. I'm just kidding. She's getting she's getting some stuff taken care of. Welcome. This is Squad Says Chill. This is the after show where uh, you, the uh, chef, can go ahead and talk to the chefs and the judges about everything that just happened during Squad Says Sir. We're going to go ahead and do some intros uh, in a second. Let's go ahead and we'll start over there with today's winner, Graham. Uh, go ahead and talk to folks. Imagine this is a brand new show. People just tuned in. Yes. Tell the folks who you are what you do. Uh, my name's Graham. I work in advertising strategy. Um, Novice chef, chef. I cook for uh, friends and family only. And uh, and as I said previously, if you find me on the weekends. I'm usually on the ice playing some hockey uh, with my good buddy Steve. Oh, your turn, Bonsai. Oh, sorry. Hi, I'm Bonsai Baby. I um, I'm Bonsai Baby on Twitch, Bonsai Baby on Instagram, Twitter, and uh, also Bonsai Baby on YouTube. I do cooking, woodworking, gaming, and a bunch of mixed media art. Um, yeah, just if you're Looking for a random, crazy, family-friendly show? <laughs> Check me out. Hey, I'm Solon. Uh, I'm a video producer for Video Game Choo Choo. You've never been uh, riding the train with us. Every week we do streams, and uh, we have a big, beautiful website where we uh, post all of our game opinions. So when I'm not critiquing food, I'm also <laughs> critiquing games. Um, you can also find us at thegamezone.zone. That's where we hang out and live. It's just a fun, friendly place with fun, friendly gamers. Is it like Big Brother for gamers? Pretty much. We all just <laughs> live in, there's like eight of us on staff and we all just kind of li live in a house and we all look at each other like, you're next. <laughs> <laughs> and finally to my left. Uh, uh, hey, my name is Sarah. I am a communications consultant by day and uh, by night or any other time. I am a food writer and a home chef. You can find the recipes that I invent on in lieu of cordon bleu.com. Uh, you can also find me. Yeah. That name is amazing. <laughs> but I, also, I have a follow up question yeah. that I just I cannot wait to ask. So go ahead and continue. It's also in lieu of cordon bleu um, on Instagram or at Kesara Sarah on Twitter. Mm -hmm. All right. You said you can find the recipes you invent on your website. Yeah. Are you going to place any of these inventions on your website? I, I mean, maybe we need some triangular <laughs> burgers All right. on my website. There might be a few tweaks before they go up there. I don't, I don't know. We <laughs> joke about, uh, about a Squad Says cookbook because there are some times where dishes come out incredibly well. I mean, this was not a terrible dish at all. Like, this is a burger no. I would eat. Wow. Yeah. Well, I'm just saying. Like, we it's always... damning with faint praise just... right there. <laughs> We joke about how some of the, I mean, yesterday's show, if you watch yesterday's show, it was not great, but like, I would eat the crap out of this. The nachos were great. Uh, the slider, uh, Ted's, the slider, the Ted's finishing. Oh, yeah, the sandwich. You don't uh, want my sandwich. raw potatoes? I mean, if I'm in a hardcore <laughs> mood, I'm going to go for those, those frozen <laughs> oh, rounds. Oh. Uh, <laughs> 
The burgers for sure. Imp, imp, uh, Impcast Media says for the cookbook right there. Yeah. Ooh, tri uh, tri pork. Tri pork. Oh, tri -port. There you go. Or like your mm, burger, you could put three different types of meat. Oh, yeah. Call it a tri burger. You could put like pork. Ooh, there you go. And then. You would do some veal because then yeah. it would be like a meatloaf, right? Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. I don't. I think you got to keep the Cracker Jacks and bacon in there. Yeah, the Cracker Jacks well, on principle. The tri force of sweet, the tri force of salty, and the tri force of savory. And, well, here's, yeah. the, and, and here's the thing. In well, the let's cookbook. Not heat yeah. Because there was some Chipotle there. In, yeah, in the cookbook, this would just be. One, it'd be the complete dish. It wouldn't be like, oh, the pork is separate, and then the, the other recipe, add bacon to Cracker Jack. So like, this is how you present <laughs> that's, it. Right yeah, there. that's right. But that's like a Super Bowl dish, right that there. That is a very, Come yeah, on. very bacon and Cracker Jacks. There, <laughs> like, I might actually have to just do this for for Super Bowl. Just sit there and just be like, what are you bringing? Bacon and Cracker Jacks. Why? Oh, you'll see. <laughs> oh, you'll see. <laughs> and, you got, watch the <laughs> yeah. and you got it nice and crispy too, like considering the time that was given. Uh, so normally what happens is, Chad, you guys go ahead and ask us questions if you want. We're just gonna talk. We're just gonna talk. One another. Yeah. Yeah. Sandwich is real good. Uh, it's, yeah. it's gone now. Uh, it's gone now. It's gone <laughs> yeah. now. I ate it. You can't yep. put food. I think what everybody has learned at this point is you cannot put food in front of me without it slowly disappearing. Uh -huh. Yeah. Like it will be gone very quickly. Uh, Graham, how tall are you? As you take a sip of beer. Um, I am six two and a bit. I'm six three if I sleep eight hours. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, That's no, how it works. When you sleep, you grow. Yeah. Oh. That's right. legit. And I'm also I'm short and I'm How right tall next are you? to you. I'm 5'1". one. Can you guys stand? Yeah, up? can you just back can to we, back? Can we get can we get this real fast and stand right next to each other? Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> they have to wow. move the camera. They have to like lift the camera because they can't <laughs> catch Graham. They can't that's, see. That's amazing. So there you go, chat. You ask, we deliver. <laughs> um, judges. Yes. Judges. Uh, was there any dish you were concerned about? Um, Before it was presented to you. It was this one. <laughs> it was, oh, yeah, the, that one. When the uh, hash browns weren't cooking, I was like, oh, no! It was like a little bit like mashed potatoes, so yeah. it wasn't like it was hard. Like, that's right. what I was worried about. I was like, mm -hmm. we're just going to eat some crunchy potatoes all of a sudden. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Those were, all I, those were delicious. I uh, ate those too. They're very good. <laughs> did, you, did you try the bacon? You ate the crunchy potatoes? I like potatoes. I think potatoes. I think potatoes. No, no, I think maybe. I want to taste that now. I want to taste that bacon. Good job. Cheesy bacon. Mm -hmm. right now, if you're watching at home, we're sorry. Everyone just started talking right now. Uh, yeah. So, you know, I think uh, the cheese wasn't presented enough in your dish. Because mm. in one of the bits, I took the bacon. I tasted all the cheese. Mm. Yeah. So, you know, oh, it's, that's it's, what happened. You took all the cheese. I took all the cheese, apparently. I just We brought the wrong dishes. It happens. It happens quite a I'm bit really sometimes. curious is the how is that brown cheese? It's really good. I kept eating. She had cut a whole bunch of it. Do we and I eat kept not getting grab it. I don't know where it's at. It should be somewhere in the back. Oh, it. oh, yeah, it's right over there. Yeah, that cheese is delicious. Yeah, uh, I'm really curious about Danny it. Danny Two Step is, says, I was looking at Sarah's website. I'm totally excited to try to make this whiskey apple cider. Oh, uh, wow. wow. Can you, before we, Drunken Club, we're going to get to your question in just a second. Uh, Chef Sarah, would you yeah. just bring that whole thing yeah, over? Yeah, well, I'll just bring a block bring of cheese right, with we'll a knife. That'll be great. That's a very brown. Tell us about the whiskey apple cider. Oh, yeah. So this was inspired by, um, I, I took a trip to um, McMinimins, which is um, one of the, the local bars around here, and they have their own uh, Apple Poda whiskey. It's an apple whiskey. I just went there the other night. I had dinner at the uh, North Shore Lagoon. Yeah. That place is amazing. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> that place is awesome. <laughs> and so I was just sort of like it was a chilly night, and I wanted something to be warm by the fire. So uh, I took that and um, you know some apple cider, and then some some mulling spices, a little bit of cinnamon, some star anise, um, and a little bit of vanilla because that kind of warms it up a little bit. Oh. Heat that all up together, um, and uh, top it with some whipped cream. Oh, <laughs> look at that face. Nobody, do you like that? <laughs> you don't it. like that? That cheese is delicious. Very different. I think kind the of problem cheese. is you can't yeah, call it cheese. You have to think of it, it as chocolate. It tastes like really like chocolate. Sim it's, it's, like a, it's, caramel. A, it's a nutty. No, it's it's a nutty. The yeah, thing there is, you go. Yeah. What is it? What were you going to say? Barbara? I was going to say it's very similar in texture to goat cheese. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Um, yep. It's just got a weird aftertaste. I was like, I'm liking this, I'm liking this, and then it's like more in my mouth, and then I'm like, ooh. It's like that you're selling yourself weird on it. Taste. Maybe, see, maybe you should give me back points in retrospect yeah, you know, for in not retrospect, having the I'm cheese. I'm glad that that didn't I, Yeah, I know, that, uh, that, that was around. a bad. Wait, <laughs> that was the forced ingredient. Yeah, and she didn't use it? No, no she I used did. it. She, she used it, I just it. didn't taste it. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I was okay. imagining a different type of cheese. So yeah, right. I mm -hmm. expected much more of a, what is this for? Why are you throwing it? It just looks really throwable. You gotta try it, the thing is you gotta eat it 
<laughs> That's why I did it. Uh, production's asking for some of it. You, they you got hands? Uh, uh, I want to say. Right. Oh, so they were asking. Uh, uh, Drunken Cloud's got the question. Uh, Drunken Cloud was asking there, which sabotage did you like the best? Ooh. So judges, chefs, it's up to you. I mean, even if you didn't like it, you can say, I mean. Cat head. Cat head. Yes. Cat head. I, yeah. Yeah, that. I like that one that as was well. That was the best entertainment value by far. Yeah. yeah. Well, he had a six foot cat cooking. <laughs> what was that not... like cooking with the cat head on? Was that's that, not, that it's make not it easy to harder, see. It got, so... it got hot and <laughs> uh, and I just, you're always with this thing in front of your head, kind of like looking where you're going, no peripheral vision at all. So yeah, it, uh, we've gotten comments before from folks who watch the show that mm. said, um, the things that seem to be the most enjoyable are very visual sabotage. Yeah, yeah visual. Even though, even though the ones that are done to the dishes really affect the cooking itself, and that's the trying to be the main focus of the cooking segment uh, or the cooking show itself, the visual ones seem to go over just way better. Um, we've gotten before people, you know, uh, saying you have to put on Spock hands, so they're just like oh, yeah. these rubber hands. Oh that are yeah. Doing, or doing this, doing, uh, doing that. Yeah. Oh, oh, drunk glasses. Oh, uh, drunk glasses. Drunk glasses. We have. Come get some. I think Echo's <laughs> mad that we're some. eating her cheese. <laughs> also, is this your cheese? That's uh, okay. Yeah. The thing about that is, uh, we. Oh, is it because the choppy, piece? choppy fingers? Yeah. Because of that, because of the near fire. Because we also, we would love to get like uh, the T-Rex suit. But again, you don't want somebody that close to open flame. Yeah. So yeah. drunk glasses, while would be awesome, there's a chance that you know somebody could not see and slice themselves or burn themselves. Uh, things that we've done is uh, chef and host link arms. Uh, we're actually gonna probably gonna do one soon of the uh, the host has to put their arms through. And so oh. they have to be the chef. Oh, hands. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you could do In it like the three legged thing. race, right? Where you have to tie an ankle together. Oh, yeah. We've oh, done yeah. linking arms. Yeah, where tie an ankle chef, together is That a would lot. be a tough one. What yeah. about a musical challenge where you have to, like, only talk in musical? We, oh, that'd so, be fun. That'd be a good one. There, uh, oh, we had the singing one. Oh, apparently, they you almost would have had to have sing the song Stand By Me. Yeah. Oh, uh, that was I could do that. But I'm not going to now. You should. You said Why don't you finish this and then we'll ask you again? <laughs> yeah. yeah right? No, my singing only gets better. That I'm. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's definitely one of the uh, things. <laughs> Kevin's like, here, wait. Oh my god. Oh, yeah, Kevin, <laughs> Kevin, Kevin, <laughs> drink two more. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Three. Yeah. I'm not, yeah, pass oh, there we go. So I'm taking one. That's where we're at. I'm okay. The lobster. Yeah, lobster. No, because I need like a chorus to go if this is gonna happen. You want it? Just said it. No, 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 I'm not gonna drink it. No, we're not. Sorry, I just don't care for. We need your bite. Right here. Right, I don't you care for it either. Heart. That's totally beside no. the point. Rainier, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> um, why do we live So we do have some of those. Uh, blindfolded for five minutes, yes, because that'll go well. With knives and yeah. teeth, that sounds that'll, fantastic. That'll go well. yeah. <laughs> oh, blind uh, one. These are all things that you can absolutely say to us in our Discord because we did just make a channel for recommendations yeah. so that we can keep oh, track oh, of all no, these. So uh, I'm gonna pull. Yeah, I'm gonna pull out some of the ones that are in Discord. Yeah, those right are really now. good. Just so yeah. if you want to join our Discord, do an exclamation point Discord, and you'll be prompted with a link. There's also been the bot on a ta uh, on a timer that has been yeah. uh, doing that. We have different channels in there as well. Um, you know, a variety of ones for like clips and whatnot, just general talking and all that. Thank you, Drunken Clap. What did you find? Oh my god! Oh, wow. Robles, please. Oh my god! You have to unwrap X presents in Y minutes, oh. but, but some of those presents have ingredients in them. Oh, oh, oh I know god. where they took that from. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's, I it's know an where original. They took that. Shut up. It's, it's an original. original <laughs> it's original, Swan I, says. I like the one uh, I saw debauchery, one of our mods had posted in there. A, um, that they have to do a stacking cup. They have to do a full stack cup before they can, yeah, oh, yeah. Yep. yeah. before yep, they yep, can uh, continue. I think I'd love this channel one. so good. Uh, <laughs> this channel is so good. This channel right here. This channel. Get, in this, get in this channel. Here. Get in this channel. This? Uh, it's so good. Oh, I, this, oh, again, another one that was my favorite ones is the, uh, the mystery bottle. So an opaque oh, bottle mean? that could have anything from milk Juice, olive oil, oh. uh, syrup. You've got to taste so it hard. to figure out what it is. Yeah. <laughs> like that sounds that so out. dangerous yeah. right there. <laughs> but, uh, so those, like, those oh, are the kind you. of ideas. Ooh. What'd you say? Spoiled, Spoiled milk. Oh, I would never do that to somebody. That'd be your Or awful. a color theme oh. one. You only can cook food that is this color. So oh, yeah. green tea wow. can only cook green food. And you could allow for food coloring. Oh, my water. God. We'd make yeah. green eggs and ham. Yeah. Uh, oh, it. there you go. Uh, you, can, you have a sabotage where the other team gets to prepare a, one component of a dish, oh. and it can't be changed after that's good. Mm. We've also talked about one where I want to do, like, an ultimate. We've talked about maybe later on is the app and the loyalty program and whatever we want. Like, 
when the squads continue to get bigger, that we'll have like the, the the super member of the squad that's like been here the longest gets like a once a month sort of, sort of power, where the chefs are forced to switch teams for the rest of the game. Oh, wow. Yeah, so they have to continue cooking the dish that the other <laughs> chef was cooking wow. and oh, that's right a good in the one. middle. Yeah. So no, if, if, if I had to like prepare powers. something for another chef, I think I'd go with like a beef carapaccio, right? Whoa, it's like yeah, you yeah. just go raw right, right away go. and then say best of luck. Yeah. 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 Evil sound, I like it. You, you come back and come back on my, on my <laughs> team. Do the evil, do the evil together. When I was younger, I just used to eat raw hamburger meat. <laughs> No. What? Is it? what? It's just a habit. And, and when like you're walk. 80, you'll find out if you have mad cow disease or not. And you know, that's for future me. Not now. Uh, there we go. Uh, sabotage the Robbie. audience. Kevin. 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 Yeah. Puck. Kevin. Kevin. Get off. Get off the Twitter. Get off. Get off the Twitches, Kevin. It's sabotage audience. Everyone has to have ten of their friends watch. Yeah. Perfect. There we yeah, go. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's how you. That's how you. Uh, that's Didn't we all do, do that anyway? That's a call to action. <laughs> yeah. Right there. Some kind of game and a sabotage. There was one that I talked about. Uh, somebody talked about it. Andre says this. Hey, Andre, come back. Um, the uh, Somebody talked about uh, in Jenga, like having a game yes. of Jenga. Oh, oh, like, oh my God. Either ingredients are pulled from the Jenga block or added time. Yeah. Just oh, that's what happens when right it all falls down. Right? Nothing. They get nothing. Yeah. There's they no reward. If you, if you knock it down, they get, wow, that'd be crazy. I would love also to see um, that. I was saying the, the we should incorporate some sort of like drinking game into the middle of it. Oh geez. Yeah. Like That's uh, yeah, like I don't know, like before there was like a I was mentioning the, the Mario Kart game drunk driving where you actually have to <laughs> What have you what, played, you played this? So so this is uh so I'm I'm going to see my family uh for Christmas <laughs> this yes. year. Yeah. And the, the last time we got together for Christmas we were both like five and he got uh Legends of Zelda for Christmas. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. so I decided this year where I was gonna get all of the classic Nintendo games on like one of those little things yeah, and yeah. we were gonna no practicing in advance. Nice. And then we were gonna have to to play the game and every time you die, you drink. That sounds oh, fun. Wow. That's, yeah, that's um, mm -hmm. The way drunk driving works is you, everyone has can race around the track, but it, you have one drink, you have one beer, and you have to finish that beer before you get to the end of the race. But to drink the beer, you have to actually pull over <laughs> at the side of the road in the game and start drinking it, and that's the only time you can drink. Oh, you because no drunk nice driving. Family. Yeah, exactly. It's that's so it. They had nicer family traditions. We just did King's Cup where we oh, had... Oh, God. No, it's not just that. It was oh, it's not just that. We Hold had up. it so you could not just add liquids. You We had a blender. Oh, no. So you could go through whatever like Christmas food or Thanksgiving food and put that in a blender, and whoever loses has to down the whole thing. Ugh. You could add soy sauce, nope. you could add honey, you could add turkey into it, and mashed potatoes. So horrifying. Yeah. Honestly, this explains a lot. Yeah. Yeah. It explains a lot. Uh, Pimo in the chat, so I like this idea too. Uh, you trade one item for another, but it's one of three. So it's essentially like, what's behind, pick door number one, two, or three. You don't know what it is, but you're gonna trade one of your items for another one. Maybe Ooh. with a force ingredient. Like you get a force ingredient, it's like you can take this force ingredient, the next one's or a force you can try, yeah, or you can try door one, two, or three, but it's also a force ingredient. Like, because I think if you get just straight like, oh, I don't want these cherries. Oh, I got this cheese. I'm not gonna use the cheese either. I think it would have to be something where it's, it, you tr you're trading a force for another force. Behind door number three, it's a Latin American man. <laughs> there you go, it's gotta be in there. Uh, why does Bonsai's family hate each other? Yeah, that's a good question. We don't hate each other. We just think it's really funny. Everybody else's misery. To puke? It, <laughs> no, no, that's it's where just, I was about to go. You have, it's just the misery fact. Like we just, you know, there was like a time where we had a very big, large wedding and I've never seen so many drunk grandparents doing the chicken dance. That was that that, fun. And that's oh my God. your reward for the horrifying blender drink. <laughs> yeah. That's the upside you've got. <laughs> I do like that idea though about trading a force. Let's, 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 yeah, let's, 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 let's make a deal. Really As a Danny Two Step says, let's make a deal. That's what we'll call the sabotage. Let's make a deal. Or, or Squat yeah, says deal. makes a deal. Maybe make it even bigger. You have to trade two ingredients for one mystery to get something different. Ooh. Ooh. So that makes higher sense. I think that yeah, I think that makes a lot more sense than just I'm not using this now. Yeah. You have to trade two of your ingredients. So there's a higher chance you have to trade something that you could have maybe used at some point if you're not getting things that you like. That's a good I one. think that's a great option. Uh, Danny Tusip says bonsai, adopt me. Oh, sorry, no kids yet. Ooh, no. Ooh. He's like 35. 
just want to. <laughs> it could actually be yeah. incorporated. Now that I'm thinking about that, but as adoption? a. Oh, no. yank. No, no, no. You have my train of thought here. Okay. Part of the that challenge is you have to adopt the kid. That's from now on. <laughs> that could be incorporated as a squad pick where they get to pick one, two, or three, so it comes up as a trade round specifically. And that's where we prompt the, oh, yeah. the chefs do you want to trade two of your ingredients for one of the ingredients? And the squad's pick one, two, or three. Nice. And whatever one it comes out as, it's the that's what they get. That would be fantastic. I think that's a really interesting new mechanic to add into there. Great job, Ted. Great good, job. Good idea. Good job, Ted. Yeah. Good job, Ted. Uh, hey, Graham. Yes. Do you, other than uh, other than the hockey, what does your family do? Do you guys have any crazy traditions where you do stuff like this? Um, well, unfortunately, my family's all from Scotland, which is one of the reasons oh, right. I moved over there. And uh, they just have a tradition for making a lot of very bland food. <laughs> well, I mean, haggis, a lot of just haggis meat, and meat scotch. And potatoes. Come I, on. I love, there is a lot of scotch that helps after the, the meat and potatoes. But uh, <laughs> yeah, that's that's a lot of our Christmas. Do you like haggis? God, I actually, no. I do no? like haggis. What? I think it's delicious. I would be really interested in trying it. It's, or, or, it's that just sheep guts, right? That should be an ingredient. Organ it's, meats like, are the best. so well. Yeah. Big brains. Delicious. Organ meat bad. is the best. It is. Honestly. No, I'm a big fan of Organ like meat. tendon or tripe. Uh, Art. Good. Yeah. yeah. Liver. Uh, menudo is one of my favorites, mm. and that's stomach lining. Mm. Menudo is right in there. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, they said menudo. Oh, yeah. Well, that was that's Echo in the back room there. She oh, knows what's Kevin. up. I keep menudo. thinking, oh, that's a pretty funny one, but no, it's just Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> it's just Kevin. It's just Kevin. Uh, Never mind. Um, no, that sounds not production Kevin. We should, we should say that. It's not production Kevin. No, Kevin Puck. I'm talking about Kevin Puck. I right, 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 right. But when you say something. Kevin, they all think, oh, Kevin, production Kevin that's back there. Or the stove. Yeah, we know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, the stove is named Kevin? Well, we took a uh, we took a picture. We took a headshot and then put Kevin's headshot on there. Uh, and so it became Kevin the Oven <laughs> as well. Kevin the it needs oven. googly eyes if you're going to name it. That's a good idea. Let's put some googly eyes on that googly bad boy. Eyes. Yeah. Yeah. They don't melt. Yeah, some True. giant googly eyes. Let's go. We'll get, we'll get Archie McPhee to sponsor us. We get Archie McPhee to sponsor us. Then we can use some. We can use force ingredients like clamby canes that they have. have clamby canes. Yeah, oh. it's a candy cane with a nice. I know what you're thinking, Solon. I see your face. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna go buy some right now, aren't you? It's a clam. It's a candy cane that tastes like clam. Ew. Okay. How is this a good idea? Why? It's not. It's a terrible. Have you well, been I mean, to Archie McPhee? They... I thought you said clamby canes, and I was like, oh my god, if you're a Scottish person, it has their it has their flag <laughs> on it. I'm like, wow. That. Do you guys not have the weird sodas, like the ranch and the bar, the chicken? We wing should soda? add some of those. No, we Ooh, should add some of those. chicken wing soda. Yeah, That's they have. Awesome. It's, it's horrible. I've oh had my to drink god. those for a lot of charity streams. They're horrible. Yeah, they're not great. They're not. Like the ranch one almost made me throw up. Uh, are we doing a Christmas special? Yes, we're not sure when. Yeah, it's coming uh, though. It's coming. I'm hoping it's before I leave for vacation. Because <laughs> I want to be on. I want to be on the Christmas. On the, I think a fun sabotage would be like build a gingerbread house. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. you buy one of the pre-made ones, so it's all you gotta do is really like slap it together. Uh, like, that still takes a while. That I gotta say that high. takes like at least ten minutes. We've to had together. some. Well, I mean, we had the Halloween special. Was you got to carve a pumpkin? And yeah. Sh and Sean, Sean went quick on that. He, on that yeah, we had somebody who was carve a pumpkin. He, shot, or he opened it up. Uh, it told me scoop everything out. So he left and continued to cook. I scooped everything out for him and then set it. And he just like sliced that baby up. Okay. And that was uh, Steve the pumpkin is what that yep. turned into. <laughs> Who stuck around for a little bit longer than he should have? Yeah, it, it had the some studio. flies in it. It had some little gnats <laughs> in it. We had to get them out. Oh, pumpkin is a good one that you could, as is a cooking utensil, you can only cook with a pumpkin. Oh. Because they yeah. don't burn. That's, yeah. Really? Yeah. It's weird. I, I learned yep. that because I tried to get rid of one in my fireplace. And it, <laughs> it did not burn. It did not burn. They have thick skin. They got. Yep. They have elephant yep. skin. And it, so what was the aftermath of that? Like, we, I mean, how do you then get rid of the pumpkin? That oh, I just, I, I, just, I just crushed it up and threw it in so the fire. biodegrade. <laughs> how do you get rid of something that doesn't burn? <laughs> it doesn't burn. I need to... I mean, it still biodegrades. It just doesn't burn. Yeah. Uh, should have to back a pie after. I think bake, bake a pie. Oh, bake a pie. Bake yeah. a pie. Oops. Like a, what about like a fruit cake? Wow, Ooh, we have to use my portion ingredient fruit cake. Yeah, fruit cake is such a. I'm sorry, no. I've mm -hmm. never had fruit cake. I'm, I'm glad that I've never had uh, never had the. Uh, You're not missing out on really butter. anything. Uh, yeah. Q uh, Dragon Cloud. Cucumber is the best utensil. Oh God, that's Thank you, Dragon Cloud. Uh, do you guys know Kells? Uh, Pika Chaos. She's yeah. She was on the oh, show. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, she was on the show. Like Calico again. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. she lost all of her utensils. 
Oh no. But she had this big ass cucumber. So she used it and she was like cooking and moving. And <laughs> she, was, she was making fried rice. Yeah. And oh, she yeah. stirred with a, with, with a cucumber as her wow. utensil. You know what? Everything. Smart. It is. Innovative. That's very, you know what? Yeah. It was, it was great. Uh, well, and then she had, uh, she had foil. That was one of the items was wrapped in foil. So she took the foil and used that as utensils. She was like, I'm scooping rice with the yep. foil. Like she was, she was on top of it. Oh my uh, gosh. Boy, is fruitcake is getting delicious. Fruitcake is not delicious. There, no. oh, there you go. Decorate a ginger man, a gingy man cookie. All right, fine. I guess we won't want to build a house just to decorate a gingy family. I'll make it make it a little bit more because the cookie is like, gingy. Or I mean, yeah. I mean, you could also cookie cutters could be a utensil you can only cut with. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Replace your yeah. replace yeah. all your knives. Yeah, with with cookie cutters. cutters. That's, yeah. cutter. that's that's the good one. A little cookie yeah. cutter. Well, see, if, if, especially when we do something like ground meat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because then you little here's a here's a little cookie man burger. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I feel or like a cookie good man burger. Chopping your knife or chopping your onion though with, oh, your, yeah. with your cookie cutter. Okay? <laughs> I mean, yeah. the metal ones can do pretty well. Yeah. Have you tried using a slap chop before? Yes. Those things are like the worst. No, they're the best. Onion. No, they're not. They're the best. All you gotta go is go ah when you do it. You can try that, but it <laughs> sticks in there. It doesn't even chop the onion all that much. They're not. Sh You're the just problem not is they're, using it right. They're not sharp. That's you why. You don't have the inert rage that you bonsai have to have. Baby, you know. bonsai so baby says rage. now. Rage. rage. God, those things are terrible though. I've tried using them and it's just like all, I tried mushrooms once, they all just got stuck in it. I couldn't <laughs> get them out. Actually, that's the one thing like when I have, um, there's a couple things like when I, cause I do a cooking channel, uh, yeah. cooking as well. A lot of things they like is uh, I have this huge like 10 millimeter bullet mm -hmm. and if I don't have my rolling pin, I roll it with the bullet and then slap chop. They always love me doing the slap chop or oh, yeah. doing anything with a hammer. I have a hammer and I just go, I don't know how to cook this. Hammer. <laughs> I feel like any of those as seen on TV things are <laughs> like people are always into. They're the best. How dare you? They oh. are. I like them. They're fun. Them. Uh, they're asking if there's a 10 mic cook off eventually. Uh, uh, we'll, oh, be yeah. we'll be behind behind the table instead of instead of doing ten minute omelets. We'll actually do a whole show. Yeah. Uh, we weren't squaring off making nachos. We were just testing the kitchen and testing, uh, and we uh, we had to uh, make an omelet. We just, yeah, no, not that one. I'm saying when we tested the kitchen, oh, we, just, we, were we just we just made yeah. nachos. Yeah, we were just making nachos yeah. for fun. Yeah. People were watching the screen or were watching us just making nachos one day. Yeah, it was so weird. Like, it was just behind. Well, we were testing our behind the scenes stuff, uh, and yeah. all, we were testing the cameras and all that. Um, yeah, it's going to make eggs as well. How many episodes left at the end of the season? I think end of December. End Whenever, of December. The, yeah, the we don't know how many December. episodes. So we don't, we don't, yeah, we don't have an exact number, uh, but the end of, end of December is going to end the season. Yeah. Oh, that'll be great, though. I'm uh, I'm pumped that I'm one up on you. I you know, should have another yeah. ladle over there, not another spatula. I thought spatulas and were mine. Whatever. Ladles were yours. Whatever. Whatever. I'll go put. Well, I'll go put a spatula or a, a ladle up Just there. Let for it, you. Let it. Look, man, my squad wants does what my squad wants. Okay, but I'm glad that uh, we're one up on you. When we started this, and you were two up to start, that's a third victory in a yeah, row for us. Yeah, third one in a row. Like I was, wor I was real worried. Green Squad coming through at the end. Maybe that's the way. That's the narrative. They say it's the narrative. Huh. It's, it's the, the narrative. narrative Steve, Steve always wants. like we need a narrative. Steve wants like a narrative. There it is. <laughs> there it is. Steve. Green Squad kicks ass. That's the narrative. <laughs> okay, what else do you want? Green Squad gets beat down really early on, and then and then comes back. Uh, you know, at least my wins were on front page. So that's. <laughs> that's Andre, maybe it was my wishful thinking that made it seem competitive. The, the nachos? Yeah. <laughs> so oh, much. Man. Oh, oh, yeah, nice. and they do have the... <laughs> oh. Kevin got bad. <laughs> Kevin got timed out. Got his message deleted. That's okay. brilliant. Oh, man. Uh, they're talking about the uh, the cook-up. We know, we've already talked about it. Did somebody, did he clip the... Uh... The it was on YouTube. The eggs. Oh, all right. Yeah. Um, yeah. We did a we did an egg cook off where Mike ten, and I were ten, cooking ten eggs. I made. Yeah. We had ten minutes to cook something with eggs, <laughs> and we couldn't even get all of our ingredients before they started the timer. So we were running around here oh. looking for shit around the like it was kitchen. Intense. We ended up getting, um, what was it? You lost because your omelet was too, too salty. salty. Yep. You had salami in it. Yep. And you had smoked gouda. You had smoked oh, gouda. Yeah. And then you oh, added yeah. salt. Oh, yeah. Oh, I so just salami. made standard scrambled eggs. Um, and it was I an did omelet them nicely. And, and Ted one was scrambled eggs. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, you could do really good with tamarind. I, I would rather yes. innovate and lose, though. Yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> innovate and lose. Yeah. Uh, an omelet is just eggs and milk. Yeah. And the other stuff you want. Yeah. Yeah. No, absolutely. That's yeah. how it works. He, he put other stuff in it, and the other, other stuff, stuff did not work out. Well, there's the fancy omelet that they do in Japan, the one that's the omoraisu. Oh, yeah. Omelet. Which one one's that? The one you gotta cook like this. Yeah. And then you put it on, and then you go. 
and then... It's exactly like I, that. that. What was that? Like wow. the, that's how it works. That's sounded like a yeah. spaceship opening it, 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 and you're oh, opening that's it that's bio sleep. Yes, when you open it, it actually does sound like a spaceship. That's, that's awesome. Yeah. Because all the steam comes out. It does. That's how it opens up. It's, you guys know what I'm talking about if you know what I'm do talking we, about. Do we? Have you yes. ever watched an anime? Right. And Walk then the, a, the alien I mean, crawls I may out. Be, yeah. will be great. The <laughs> alien crawls out. I love yeah. it. Oh my gosh! But I, I, I definitely, uh, I'm definitely pumped on that victory too. We yeah. need to have another. We do really need to have another cook-off between you and me and see how that goes. I would love to be able to have two people that could come in as hosts instead and have us chef that day. Oh man! Ooh. I think that'd be really fun if we have could figure that out. Have you ever had Malaysian style egg? No. What's a Malaysian style it's, egg? So the way they do it is that they only like half boil eggs. Is yeah. that what it is? They boiled it, so it's still like very runny. Mm -hmm. And then you just eat that. It's like yeah. almost like the yolk is all white, but it's still runny. Isn't that like basically a ramen egg almost, or the eggs that are in ramen? There's a half egg. Egg. No, 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 because it's egg. not. Those it's are not. More. Co that's cooked um. more. It's like so when you crack the egg, it's solid. Oh, but okay. When you have the Malaysian style eggs, it's still liquid. So you still you drink it. Basically. Yeah, you can drink the egg. That's. Hmm. I'm down. Yeah. Do they also soy sauce those? So like they poke the hole in it. You and can soak put them soy in. sauce in there. I mean, like usually it's traditionally like you can put it over. Well, Guam we do it on rice, but you could just eat it straight up that egg with soy sauce. Really good. Yeah. There's nothing appealing sounding about drinking an egg. It, you know what? <laughs> I, I, I know. know. I know. It probably is great. Just the great. words in a row. Mommy. Drink the egg. I mean, raw egg is but pretty good. Egg drink egg. the egg. Yeah. yeah. Drink the egg. Drink well, the egg. I mean, you can drink, you can like, mix it in a cocktail and drink the egg white. Then it's there like it's all. Drink the egg white. Now we've changed the whole sentence. Now the whole phrase is different. <laughs> do you do... Yeah, I just tap something on the end, and you're welcome. <laughs> 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 yeah, also, or the one I like to do with the raw egg is I like to do the raw egg and rice. Oh, and white yeah. rice and just mix oh, yeah. it with a little yeah. MSG, some soy sauce, mm. and a, uh, the furikake on top. Oh, yeah. Super good. Makes a really good breakfast. It's like one of the best breakfasts. Mm -hmm. That was like all I ate in college. <laughs> was it really? <laughs> it was just it, egg and rice and furikake. Just yeah, it's done. super easy to do. It's real good, <laughs> real tasty. If you're looking for a little extra protein or yep. not, get a little egg, some biotin if you're losing your hair. It would be like, oh, I'm, this is the day I'm treating myself, so I just have like a quarter cup of Spam that I add to oh, it. There you go. It's oh, like, oh it's yeah, college spam. living. We're talking, about, we're talking about doing a, a college show where it's like you only have things like a microwave. Yeah, ramen, microwave. Mac and oh yeah, that'd be mac hilarious. Yeah, box, yeah. Box, your, box mac and cheese. Your big win is if you get like a single hot plate. Oh, yeah. That you can, what like, is everybody's <laughs> college food? And a microwave, you guys. Mm -hmm. What do you mean college food? Like, what was your go-to? Mine was crushing up raw ramen. Or like crushing up ramen and putting the flavor pack in there, and that was you're good to go. You don't even need to cook it. Uh, shepherd's pie, actually. Oh. Shepherd's pie is a very hearty and very easy to make thing. You can make it really basic, just like make it basically like a casserole almost, where you just layer mashed potatoes, layer of vegetables, uh, layer of lamb or ground beef with where are you uh, getting all this? with gravy. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. It's so easy and it's cheap. That is super inexpensive as a meal to make, and it you have it for days. You're completely well. correct, yeah. but also Squad says in chat says Ted is too, too diva for college food. food. It's true. <laughs> and that does prove it. It's my fault that I understood that I needed to eat when I was in college <laughs> I mean, instead I'm of spending my money on vodka and alcohol. No, you gotta spend it on manga. On manga, that's what happened. <laughs> wow. Oh, God. That's happened to me. Ted's college food is fancy. Yeah, well, yeah, welcome to Ted. I swear to God, that's not like, I, so. You're 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 nodding over here. You agree. That's an easy thing for a college student to be able to make. Yeah, but I lived at home in college. It's like a real kitchen. <laughs> it's pretty. Uh, I had a studio apartment, so I had a kitchen and whatnot that I could actually cook in. So that was pretty nice. Diva. 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 Exactly. Uh, exactly. Amanda is in the chat saying, "You guys eating raw eggs are crazy." Is really it, not. Amanda, no. What are you doing? It's not. I'm not Amanda's at a party. Go party. I mean, why is it crazy? All the time. Just doesn't sound appetizing. What, shepherd's pie? No, 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 raw eggs. Well, I think it's culturally, uh, you say? culturally speaking, yeah. different cultures uh, are fine with raw things. We got a, we got a, we got a, Steve asked, who's, who, who chomps down a raw cookie dough? Oh, uh, yes, yes, yeah, yes. That's fine. And yeah. batter. That is essential. Yeah. And batter. And batter, yeah. Like We're I said, you're changing the recipe now. 
I a raw egg though by itself. Well, like, I don't get, I'm just talking about just cookie dough. Like cookie dough itself. I don't give a shit about raw egg. Yeah. Cookie dough is delicious. May or may not have the egg in it yet. Right, yeah, yeah, exactly. Right. See, Danny, <laughs> Danny Two Step is right. They put raw eggs on rice. That's what we're talking about, Danny. That's what we do pretty regularly is the yeah. raw eggs raw in eggs. rice or with a little soy sauce. Or yeah. And it's really good. It's, you can do it because you don't wash, you're not supposed to wash your eggs um, if they're fresh eggs. You're supposed to, and you can just leave them on the counter and they don't go bad. Mm. Like you don't need to refrigerate them. Oh yeah, if they're if they're actually if, fresh. If, if they're actually fresh. And not, not in cages. Right. And There's then, a uh, whole, uh, Pimo says has a whole thing there. Uh, it's learned from the UK. You put egg, milk, salt, and pepper in a bowl, mix it. Uh, take light bread and cut a hole in the middle. Oh, yeah. Turn the bread into a bowl. Oh, let it soak hole. a bit. That's a that's fry the terrifying. bread in a pan for five seconds. Put the egg in the middle of the bread in the hole, and then fry. Oh yeah. That's like a that's, fancier toad in the hole, though. Yeah, that's toad in the hole. No. But you say pirate's eye? Pirate's eye. There's a lot of names. Is that, yeah, is that the same thing? Yeah, like, it's the same thing, but we just called it pirate, pirate's eye. That's kind of cool. I like that. Did nice. you see Echo's bacon eye that she made the other day? No, I she, didn't. She tweeted at the Squads' account. She made this whole, like, she essentially made, like, she put the ba she cooked the bacon, put it uh, so it's, it's standing on its side, and cracked an egg in the center, and then made like so it folded in the head like a bacon's eye type of deal. Oh, oh wow, uh, that's interesting. I can't read that because blue is a color you can't read. Uh, also, that's, that's George BC. Oh, George. Hey, George says Ted Shepard's pie is with lamb, and it's called cottage pie with beef. Oh, I didn't know that. That's really interesting. Logan and Melt says it's called a bird's nest. Oh, I guess totally yep. whole yeah. bird's that's nest. That's the one I know. Oh. Of. Oh, that's See, really a interesting. Name for the same dish. Yeah. Yeah. Oh wow! Well, there you go. We're learning. This is a real food food, food yeah. after show here. Toad in the hole is Yorkshire pudding and sausage. Is that what it is? Huh. I thought it was a. I oh, thought it yeah. was bread with. To toad in the hole is yeah. You get that throw sausage. In. Oh okay. Yeah. That's What's, something that's really easy to get. It's kids not as bad as, well. as what trying to explain. Huh? Spotted dick. Ah! What the hell? Well, that's, spotted that's dick. A, yeah. yeah. It's a uh, British. Isn't that a, a bird? Spotted yeah. dick? No, yeah, it's, a, it's it's uh it's a spotted tit. Thinking of a booby. That's a booby. booby. A booby's boobies. The blue beaked one? Yeah, yeah. Those are no, boobies. Not, no, I'm thinking the uh I thought a spotted dick was like fish actually. No, you're thinking it's of the fish? spotted penis. It, oh, it's a that dessert. It's no, dessert. No, no, no. You showed me those pictures the other day. I just day. remember their dance. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. No, it's the yeah, no, Ted sponge showed me the pictures the other day. I don't know what's wrong with him, but it's Oh, there. it's a sponge cake it's with there. raisins. You should That's get what that checked out. Okay. What picture was that? It's his, his spotted penis. They said I'm fine. <laughs> okay. okay. They said it's fine. We just aren't, is all. Yeah. No, that, oh, you're not. Yeah. <laughs> Got it. It's a dessert. Oh, is it really? Yeah. yeah. No, 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 uh, the spotted, spotted dick. dick. Oh, spotted dick. I'm going to look this, well, I don't know if I want to <laughs> Spotted dick. Yep. I don't know what I'm going to end up finding. What is your education worth? Come on. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, as long as you put, like, British. Yeah. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. As long as like, you put British. Just just will that know? Gonna get it's a bunch of dudes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bunch of dudes from the UK with All the named David. Oh. Yeah. All oh. named David. All named David. Oh, Richard. Oh, man. That's you're so supposed to, you're supposed, don't forget, you're supposed to Google Riker sitting in the chair, also. Oh, yeah, I'm going to find this out. The Riker having issues sitting in the chair. Hey, Drunken, Drunken Cloud, Cloud, gifted a tier one sub Get to up. George BC. Thank you so much for hey. that sub, Drunken Cloud. Thank and you. George BC, welcome to the squad. I mean, you're already part of a squad, but now you're part of, like, the squad. You get that sweet, uh -huh. sweet frying pan emote. George using those Emmy with Love emotes. Ah, George is a viewer of mine and Emmy with Love who rated us the other day, which was really nice, nice of her. Nice. Um, really, really nice for Emmy to do that. Uh, that's awesome. Thank you so much, George. Can I hit people with it? You sure can. You can. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It yeah. grows in strength. There you <laughs> it grows in strength, apparently. Drunken also using the Emmy. Wow, we've got a couple of uh, her viewers who have stuck yeah. around here. Thank Sweet. you very much for sticking around. We really do appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Very nice. Um, do we want to go ahead and do our outro here? Yeah, yeah. Let's end. Let's, uh, all right, we're going to raid Domestic Dance. Sweet. Oh, uh, cool. Yeah, nice. we're nice. Nice. Get rid of them. Shit Show Saturday. Send it off with a with a fun time. All right, starting to my left. Go ahead and tell the folks at home watching where they can find you on the internet. Yep, so they can find me at inlieuofcordonbleu.com or band. at inlieuofcordonbleu on Instagram or at quesarasera on Twitter. I'm Solon. You can find me at solonface and literally anywhere on Instagram, on Twitter, on YouTube.com. That is where I live, is where you can find all of the videos that I make about dumb video games that I love and hate. <laughs> oh, hello. I'm Bonsai Baby. I'm Bonsai Baby on Twitch, uh, Bonsai Baby e on Instagram, and on Twitter. Uh, you can also find me, Bonsai Baby, at YouTube. Uh, check me out if you're into woodworking, cooking, gaming, and mixed media art. 
Awesome. And if you want to look me up, don't look her up. <laughs> <laughs> you can find me at uh, gqueen88 on Twitter. That's about it. And my name is Ted's Friends. Uh, you follow me on Twitch at uh, twitch.tv slash Ted's Friends or on Twitter at uh, twitch.tv or no, twitter.com slash Friends of Ted. And I am the Mike Robles, both on Twitch and on Twitter. We will be back next week with a whole brand new week of Squad Says. Goodbye, everybody. Mm -hmm.